see what's going on. Prototypical means we're not. Uh, hang on, let this. This. Where's my video gone? Go to video. No, no. Hmm? Eight watching. Right. Okay. So. Eight watching already. Eight watching. Hello, everyone. We're just getting the stream set up. I'm here. So bear with me. Bear with me everyone, I'll be with you in a minute, we're just literally getting everything set up. That's watching. Uh, I'll be with you in a couple of minutes. We're just getting the main part of the stream set up, and then I'll be able to chat to you. So bear with me. Right, here we go. Finally getting there. Don't forget to say hello so I know who's watching. Nineteen watching. Me and Max are up here having a little play on the railway. Hello Charlie Brook, how you doing? As you know this is my first uh first live stream. Right, okay. Right, hello everyone. Oliver's, Graham, hello Graham, uh, hello Charlie Brooke. Uh, so you can see my setup. Uh, let me have a look. Make sure it's all streaming properly. Charlie Brooke, can you let me know what it looks like, mate, please? Not bad, very interesting how this works. Uh, hello Charles, how you doing mate? Yeah, how you doing? Um, let me know where everything's going on the stream. How's the quality look, uh, Charlie Brook? I can't put it up on mine because I'm... Uh... Hello Greg Palmer, how you doing? So the idea is, uh, I'm going to be doing this a lot more now. Um, it's winter's here. Um, hello Game Tech, how you doing? Yeah, winter's here, so I'm going to be doing a lot more of these live streams. I've plonked my little face in the middle there so you can see me. Give you a little wave. <laughs> and uh, all I'm going to be doing tonight, I, I haven't been um, I haven't been up in the loft now, I think for, it must be coming up to a year. Oh, that's good, Charles. Wicked, mate. Yeah, I haven't been coming up. I haven't come up in this loft for a running session, I think, for about a year. So the trains tonight. Uh, hello, um, uh, Fred. Greetings from Holland. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Um, Graham looks good. Station looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I love, I love what I've done so far. It's not. It's been nice actually. Having, having a bit. Uh, uh, hello Jonathan, hello Chris, how you doing? Uh, it's been nice actually having a bit of a break from, having a, a bit of a break, a lot of a break from the railway. Uh, I've come up here the last couple of days thinking right I really should, uh, should get back into it and then I thought wow why not do a live stream from the loft. If any of you know me you know I've got a second channel which is my gaming channel. Uh, actually I think there's an eye above me, yeah if you click an eye You'll see there's a link to my gaming channel. If anyone likes computer games, don't forget to sub to that. Uh, Alex Hello, Alex Douglas. How you doing? Got lots of lovely people in here. So all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do tonight is just have a bit of a play. The trains that I've got running tonight, unfortunately, that's all I'm going to get running for, for tonight. 
Um, nice to see a good running session, mate. Pretty much the only guy live streaming then. Yeah, definitely. I wanted to be a first for the live streaming, so I'm going to be doing it a lot more. Um... <laughs> no, Charlie Book, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be doing it a lot more. Uh, hello Dungwood, how you doing? How you doing mate? Yeah, I'm going to be doing it a lot more and I'm also going to be, actually from now on, any time I'm up here doing any modelling or anything like that, it's all going to be live streamed. I can edit it afterwards. Yeah, yeah, good idea PC Game Tech. I'd love it if you all left a like, that would be fantastic. So we can get on the Google um, the Google ranking then we can get more people in. Uh, bottom right pit. Yeah, the the one is the bottom right is actually an older webcam, so that's only a, a really old one. The one on the left is 1080p, 60 frames. Although I'm only streaming in 720 today, um, I'm only streaming from my laptop, so I haven't got the power that I've normally got. Um, but let's have a look around and let's let's do some different camera angles. I think, as I say, the trains running um, at the moment. They're the only ones I'm going to have running today purely from a case of I haven't been up here um, for about a year so I don't want to start getting trains running that um, are going to be farting and uh, stopping all over the place I'd rather just go the ones that we've got there's my son let's have a look at him there's, there's Max he's up here as well we're having a bit of a father and son running session <laughs> So let's have a look, let's just change some angles. Excuse the uh, the camera as we, can you make that one go please? The other side of Milton, uh, oh yeah okay, yeah you're local to me aren't you Mark actually, yeah yeah you're local aren't you? But yeah, sorry, Paul. The uh, yeah, the, the lower, the bottom right camera isn't the best quality. I am going to replace that one actually, but for now it does the job. Um, Ellsford Town, hello, mate. How you doing? But yeah, if you could, if you could all just give it a little like, I would love you for that. If you could just like the stream, uh, that that would be absolutely perfect. Yeah, wicked. Well, I want you know, not many people. Well, on the railway side, no one really live streams, so I thought we'd get in there quick and and start it um, multi camera angles so yeah what I was saying was any time I come up here now uh, can you give us a tour of the layout yeah no worries mate yeah plenty of time for that I'll be doing all that any time I come up here now um, to do modeling I'm gonna live stream it um, because once it's live streamed it goes onto my account and then I can edit it anyway so I can cut out all the bits in between um, you're enjoying a curry, are you, Charlie Brooke? Lovely. And how are you getting on with Battlefield 1? You're loving it, aren't you? We're definitely loving it. Yeah, thank you for pressing the like button. I can see you all pressing it. I appreciate that. But I've been looking forward to this all day, actually. I thought it was something different. What's the sound like? Um, is there much interference? I've got my headset on, as you can see. Um, what's the sound like? Because all, all this is the first time I've done it. So, Grove Dunk Junction, amazing layout, good work. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. What software are you using for the multi-picture? It's a program called OBS. Uh, it's mostly used for gaming. Um, thanks, Jim. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, oh, it sounds great. Wicked. Yeah, I know. Terrible. I keep dying. Oh, it, yeah, it sounds cool. That's good. Um, yeah, it's called OBS. Look it up. It's a free bit of software. You do need a fairly powerful PC. Uh, yeah, you, Alex, do you like uh, uh, Battlefield 1? If you are into gaming, Alex, or anyone else that's watching, if you click the I above me, you'll see my other channel, which is uh, Game Tech UK. Um, if you give me a little subscribe on there, we're always live streaming on there. There's another man who's in this chat room, actually, NEPCGameTech.com. Yeah, Grove, click it, click um, subscribe if you haven't already, mate, to my other channel. Oh, Alex already follows me. I oh, appreciate that, mate. Right, let's change some, some camera angles. And a bit... So you'll have to excuse the wobbling of the camera while I get it all in view. I'll have to open up OBS and see what I'm doing there. Yeah, excuse the wobbling of the camera just while I get it set up. I quite like that camera angle actually, bottom right, I like that one. So like the, like the only guy with Kidu post gaming videos, all, all the others have got 18. Yep, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. 
Uh, yeah, I'm actually actually the bloke that's below me, below me, any PC going to. He, he's my sort of gaming partner, if you like. He's coming in just to check the stream. Yeah, we're streaming uh, Battlefield One all the time. So you're gonna have to excuse me now, because you've started me talking about gaming. <laughs> right, railway, railway. <laughs> right, okay. So like I say, I haven't been up here for about a year now, which is so sad. When I come up here and I look at the work I've done, and I think, wow, you know. But who wants to come up here in the summer? That's what I think. It's too hot up here, you know. Um, now, literally from now on, this is I can feel it coming back. I can feel the sort of passion that I've got for the model railway, and. Uh, I'm going to get back to it, definitely get back to it, but I've got a long camera on that one, so very soon I'll give you a tour around the whole layout. Um, yeah, Charlie Brook, oh, I think I follow your other layout. Yeah, I know you do, you're, you're on my other channel, you're one of my best uh, best followers. <laughs> yeah, you thought this was a model railway one. Uh, David Williams, yeah, if you like games, mate, um, don't forget to click to my other one. What, have you, what plans have you got for 2017 on the layout? I think really just to, when I show you the tour, I'll, uh, you'll see what I mean, but just extend the layout just a little bit more down to the, uh, the sort of uh, north end, if you like, um, and finish off around the station and just, just get back to it, really. I think it's going to be a slow start because I don't know what you look like. I forget a lot of stuff where I'm doing like loads of stuff I run I run my business and I run my other channel I forget stuff so some of the skills I feel like I've got a, like the airbrushing I've got to get it all back that's the thing I've got to get it all back so I'm going to start off by doing this live streaming um, when I come up here to um, do any modeling I'm going to live stream it now as well I've, I've got all the camera angles set up so Who's from the other side of the Atlantic? Greg Palmer. Greg Palmer from the other side of the Atlantic. Say, say hello to him, Max. Hi, Greg. <laughs> That's fascinating, isn't it? I, I just love the internet side of things with with live streaming. And when me and um, any PC game tech, we we uh, we stream games. I mean, what, who did we have in there the other uh, the other night? We had a couple of people from Canada. Uh, there was. He's from Hong Kong. A bloke from Hong Kong, all watching at the same time. But anyway, trains, trains, trains. <laughs> Actually, the bit well, I'll show you in a minute, the bit where I am here, the bit that I'm using to sort of put the laptop on, I want to get that done, um, which is going to be a water scene. And I'll show you the... Uh, yeah, South Africa. We had two people in from South Africa, didn't we? Yeah, so I mean, isn't it brilliant, you know? That's why I want to... <laughs> Alex is London, nothing special. <laughs> uh, that's why I want to do this because it's quite lonely actually. I don't know whether you get any of that. Being up here on your own, on 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 your own in the in the loft doing your modelling. Uh, yeah, exactly. Paul saying, get back on track, on track. Do you like it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Being up here on your own can get a little bit lonely, and you you sort of end up. This is what I end up doing just standing there looking and thinking yeah I've just come up here to, to build that house or whatever uh, and I end up just standing watching what I've done so um, <laughs> yeah it is an expensive hobby not as expensive as games <laughs> um, but yeah when you're up here on your own so I thought well actually if I can get this these camera angles set up um, I've got the little one in the middle as well so you know who I am um, but yeah if I can get these camera angles set up then why not just come up here and when I'm building over at my bench stick the camera angles over there you know uh, Charlie but I want to say a big thank you to you and any piece of for Movie Maker recommended I'm from sunny South End Movie Maker is alright isn't it you can actually do quite a lot of stuff in there it's, um, it's not advanced but certainly what, what we would need as railway modelers putting videos on the internet that's that's more than you need, absolutely more. I love South End. Um, yeah, we love South End. And like Moody says, I call him Moody, like Moody says, it's not bad for free. So, I'm only going to say it one more time. If you're into gaming, because I'm not going to talk about gaming anymore after this, if you are into gaming, I might say it one more time, but if you are into gaming, click the eye above me, you'll see my, um, hang on, you'll see my gaming channel subscribe to that and uh, you know I'm, I'm always I'm always doing something on the gaming channel so let's have a look so Alex says I found that having videos of other people doing their layouts videos or flight sim really go good background noise yeah yeah totally yeah the amount of times actually all the time mask is in there hello mask how you doing um, whenever I come up here doing modeling um, I'll show you when I do a full layout I'll show you I've got monitors up there 
I always have um, other other videos on, so I've probably watched all of your videos. Not your, maybe yours individual. I don't know whether you uh, whether you upload. Let's have a look. I watch all of your videos. Gaming, gaming, gaming. Yeah, I know. So thanks for coming in, Mask. He's another um, follower from my other channel. Yeah. Right. Let's let's change some camera angles. We've always got to change them angles. Right, let me get my other program up so I know exactly what I'm doing. Bear with me while I get these camera angles right, sorry. That'll do for that one. Let's go back up there. No, let's go across here. Sorry about the moving about the camera. So it's just going to be a case of um, finding some uh, higher, higher. <laughs> nice to see you back on the important stuff. Uh, layout is looking great. I'm guessing BR Blue knows what. Uh, yeah, you'll be a flown driving around. Yeah, definitely. I guess BR Blue knows that I've got a uh, gaming channel. We're not mentioning gaming though, are we? <laughs> uh. Right, yeah, we'll, we'll do some more running, and then uh, and then we'll have a little tour around the layout. Thanks for everybody who's watching 25 and watching Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 26 watching, 18 have pressed the like button, so I do appreciate that. If you do that, and then it starts. It, oh, <laughs> my camera just went. Then, then it starts to show up on the feed for uh, for other people. Then we, we'll uh, we we'll get more more people in. I like trains as well, Mask. <laughs> Have you got any new stock in recently? Not recently, but before I stopped doing the layout last year, um, I did get quite a, a bit of stock. The thing is, a lot of my stock is, is analogue and it needs changing to digital. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah. So a lot of it needs um, changing, which I'll show you when we go round. 20, 20 likes. Look at that. Fantastic. That Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Um, Moody uh, is um, is everything all right with the sound? Charlie Brooke, does the sound and video look okay? Greg Palmer, did you go, ever get the high level connected to the low level? Um, I, I never wanted it connected to the low level. To be honest with you, there, there's actually two upper lines. Um, let's have a look. There's actually two upper lines. So the, these two that go around here, um, you can see. This one here, just waiting for it to catch up. Now this actually goes, now I don't know what you can see behind there, so I'm going to, this is going to be guesswork. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I think you can see it actually. So you can follow that train round. Now that train is all off scene. And the reason for that, there's a water tank there, right? So that, that that's why the layout sort of stops there. So the water tank is there is absolutely pointless but i started by putting the uh, the tracks right up to the wall i did have an idea of sort of maybe getting that moved but then i thought well, why not do these upper lines and the one thing that fascinates me when i go to railway shows or well, not so much shows but exhibitions is like that there look you've got the train it disappears And when you go into a new exhibition or a new layout, you don't know where it's going to come next. So you sort of look in and you're thinking, well, where's it going to come next? And that was that was a big driver for me. Um, so now the reason being um, that goes off and look, it's, it's not here. It's, it's not here. Um, it, it's literally disappeared. So if you was new to the layout, you'd be like, well, where's it gone? What? I don't know, is it going to appear over there, over there? Then all of a sudden it comes back. So I've got another one as well. Now this line, uh, the one that I'm pointing to now, um, it goes all the way behind there, and that that's that's going to come out the top. Now I haven't got the one running, but I will have very soon. And then it comes all the way back around there, and then connects up here. Now the two upper lines, they're actually analog, so that's one of the reasons. Um, 
yeah that's one of the reasons I wanted to keep them separate I've got a lot of analog trains um, and it just means that Max can actually control them separately as well because I've got the old um, e-link um, for Hornby e-link which I'll go through and I'll show you in a minute um, but it means that Max can control the analog lines separately um, you can run trains in separately on the analog line which they always recommend you do run it in analog before you put your chip in um, and I just like it really I like the the separate control elements so I can also have um, <laughs> it's looking like a pro TV doc I know they don't do that in TV documentaries though do they <laughs> um, right what's everyone saying uh, have you ever thought about making a hill over the water tank uh, possibly but I've constructed it this way now and you'll see when I do the tour in a minute you'll see that um, yeah it's not gonna be really possible so much space for train rails yeah uh, Hartford Lane model railway hello mate how you doing loving it and Paul likes five elms live well hopefully get get used to it because I'm gonna be doing it a lot more uh, and it's given me incentive as well because obviously you all you look like all you lot like it so that's that's fantastic that's why I did it we've got 26 watching 23 likes that's awesome so as people search <laughs> Max is giving a clap let's give a clap <laughs> yeah uh yeah all good hertford um oh thanks mate you love the railway uh, you need a cam on the train <laughs> michael's in <laughs> topless <laughs> i'm not a booby streamer to uh michael you know that uh, hello michael um moody's in actually he's in the room somewhere yeah some share oh yeah shares on twitter and facebook yeah love that yeah that would be cool um i was actually looking today at wireless um mini cameras because wouldn't it be good on a live stream to be able to have the wireless camera on a train just going around and one of the feeds would be going around the entire um <laughs> no booby clickbait then no nah, there's no booby clickbait although that is a good idea maybe <laughs> next time you know what some of the booby streamers are like, didn't you, Alex, on uh, Twitch and that? Have you got Instagram? No, I haven't. Hartford um, <laughs> toilets. He wants likes, not dislikes. <laughs> and Mask has shared it as well. Hey. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, I'd, I'd, I wanted 50 people tonight. You never know. Hit that like button. You never know. You never know. Uh, Michael likes it as well. Let's do another camera angle. Hang on, don't no, don't move that down. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let. That's right. This train comes down the middle, doesn't it, Max? Yes. Yes, it does, yeah. Right, so let's leave that there. Well, I haven't got a huge amount of camera angles to explore um, because the funny thing is, the bit of the sad thing is, I've been doing this layout now, um, I've probably been doing this layout for about three or four years now, and I haven't got a huge amount done, not considering to what some of you lot get, what get done. Um, but hopefully you like what I've done. I'm a very slow worker, and I get distracted by shiny things elsewhere. So <laughs> anything, anything, I'm, I'm a sucker for getting into things. Gaming is my passion. I know I've said I wouldn't mention it, but I'm just mentioning it again, Charlie. Uh, hello, calling all stations. How you doing, mate? 33. 33 people. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, calling all stations. Love your channel, mate. Yeah, you got a nice channel there, and uh, we'll be talking very soon, actually, um, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I haven't got a huge amount of work done, but what I have done, I'm proud of. Um, and uh, yeah, Battlefield One, for example, Alex is saying <laughs> you need to get Instagram. Uh, I upload there every day quicker and easier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Paul Stone's got this showing on a 49-inch TV, and it looks brilliant. So there's me right in the middle, get in the middle of his telly, get in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Michael loves BF1 as well. We're going to go on a tour around the complete layout um, very soon. Where's my drink? I'm getting a dry throat. Dave Marson, too much Pokemon hunting. I only did the one video with that, Dave. You saw that. And yeah, who doesn't love Battlefield 1? It's such a game, isn't it, Alex? It is... It's come out of nowhere. I mean, Battlefield 4 was awesome. 
Uh, I've gone back to... T- I've been talking about gaming again, and I... David Williams has got us on his 42-inch. That's awesome. 35 watching. Product- <laughs> that wasn't product placement, Michael. He's saying, like, we're doing, um, you know, like an advert, you know? <laughs> mm. This is delicious. This is so refreshing. <laughs> trains, man. Trains, yeah. Put Moody saying trains. Stick on trains. Right. Let's put this light on there. The reason I turned the light off, it was uh, it was shining behind me. That's better. Oh, I've got to wait for it. To, I've got to wait for the delay, haven't I? Uh, Peter Shaw. Hello, Peter. How are you doing, mate? I like your layout. You've got a nice layout. Uh, Hartford's looking forward to the layout tour. I'm going on the Flying Scotsman next year. You know, the big Flying Scotsman. You know, that old-fashioned um, green... Uh, oh, someone's trying to grab my leg. What's that? Oh, thanks, Bane. <laughs> Charlie Brook, appreciate this. Look, look, look what happens if I'm gaming. If I'm gaming, I get handed a cup of tea, and now I'm up the loft. <laughs> the loft hatch was there. I felt like a hand grabbing my ankle, and a, a hand was pointing to my tea. So, cup of tea. This is not product placement. This is wife tea. Right, I'm going to put this the drink over here, Max. All right, don't spill anything up here. Hang on, yeah, it is, yeah. Going uh, for the Casey Neistat. This is not a pay. Oh, I, oh, you've started me on something else now. I love Casey Neistat. Do you like him, Alex? He is absolutely awesome. I tell, you, I tell you what. If anyone likes vlogging or anything like that, Casey Neistat. He will, he will inspire you just by watching his videos. Um, <laughs> can your teacher? Uh, can your missus teach my missus? Uh, yeah, he's brilliant. He does a vlog every single day, and he calls them movies brilliant i won't harp on about him but we love casey don't we he's awesome right okay so let's have a look let's do a couple of more camera angles oh thank yeah everyone is kind can you hear max actually um can you hear max in through my mic Yeah, I know. Let him answer first. Moody, can you hear Max talking? Because he, he thinks everyone can hear him, so... Uh... <laughs> and John Schofield says, how do I comment? <laughs> I'm not sure if you're being ironic, but you did just comment. Yeah, oh, that's good. They can hear you. They can hear you. Mike, Ma- <laughs> Tinny. Nah, it's because he's, he, he's obviously picking it up through this mic. Uh, but I'm glad... That you can hear him. It's looking good on the stream though, isn't it? Oh, David Williams Yeah. That's alright. Well, that's good. There's some good camera angles there. I'm enjoying that. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a very good um, angle. Important, right? He says you are tiny as well. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's go for a bit of under the bridge one on this. Gonna go there. No. Uh, yeah, it's like lip syncing at a gig. Uh, love the BR stock. Any updates coming soon? Yeah, Hartford, um, there's going to be a lot of updates coming soon, actually. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm, uh, depending on the quality and how it works out, I want to... I'm talking there, Max, hang on. Um, I want to I wanna start live streaming um, the updates so I can actually do the update as I go. For those that want to watch it live, that's fantastic. And then I'll edit it afterwards, and then I'll put it up for the people that aren't there that particular day. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot more activity. Um, Peter Shaw says, how often does this happen? It's the first time, mate. Um, it's going well so far. We've got 37 watching, 30, 30 likes, which is brilliant. 
Um, so no, I think oh 30, yeah, 35 watching. Um, I think it's going to happen a lot more, maybe even once a week or you know different times throughout the day. Um, I might come up here in an afternoon and do an hour. You know, it's fairly easy. There isn't much work to do, and I can enjoy my own layout um, with with people that are enjoying it as well. Is that netting in the top tunnel? Uh, top tunnel, what are you seeing? Yeah, what it is, um, I put, actually I put a black sack, I put a black sack hanging down, or a part of a black sack, um, and I put it down and, 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 and cut slits in it, so it just blocks out the light until the train goes through and the train pushes through it. So nothing ingenious, but it stops, it stops the light coming out. Um, that's what I thought, Alex. I thought, well, eight, half eight, most people have got in from work and had their dinner. Um, I should try it at different times. I'll try it in the afternoon, see who's about. I mean, obviously, a lot of people um, are retired, so you never know during the day might be a good time, for, you know, dinner time, lunch time. We don't know. I'm going to try it. Yeah, Alex, it is a very good time for it. <laughs> like Monday night, there's nothing on TV, whereas Wednesday and Thursdays have Bake Off and Apprentice, uh, only football on a Monday night. Yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, Monday night could be my railway night. Um, any new locos? I shall go round and show you some locos soon. Um, what you got to remember is, is that I've actually always said this in all of my layouts updates. Um, I've always said this uh, in my updates. I don't actually know a lot about trains. The reason I got into trains was for the modelling. So yeah, I know what a class 37 looks like, a class 50, um, but I don't know all of it. So you're going to have to forgive me. You lot are going to know way more about the actual trains. Suzuki's in here. He, he, he visits me on my other channel as well. How you doing, mate? In fact, was you you was in last night, weren't you? Um, yeah, I do like Network South East. Yeah, I do like the Network South East stuff. It's, it's just the best livery for a train, isn't it, I think, any time. Do I run any Scottish stuff? Not as far as I know. <laughs> so it goes back to what I'm saying about I don't know much about the actual trains. Um, I may run some, some, some stuff. I've got one here, actually, which I think... No, it's a, wa a, a Welsh train, actually. Yeah, Holworth Colliery train. But I'm going to take you on a tour of soon. I'm just waiting for more people to come in. Sausage 37, yeah. Uh, could somebody check my stream? Uh, probably not, but maybe. Well, I'm live as well. Right, okay. Five Elms versus The Walking Dead. Yeah, I'm going to lose there, and I'm, I know I'm going to lose. I'm going to move this one out, because there's not much going on there let's have a look at this what about what about over here yeah I wanted 50 watching so we'll have to see that doesn't look too bad I'm just going to put the quality up so I can check my own stream I'll try not to put the quality up too high. Um, just making sure the train doesn't hit everything. Yeah, that looks better. That's not bad quality. I'm going to move the speed of that one down. That one's moving just a little bit too quick. What's he say? What's Charlie Brooks? <laughs> yeah, we don't want any train collisions, do we? Oh my god, can you imagine? It would not be funny. Right, I'm just turning some speeds down. Oh. Yeah, tonight there's not going to be a huge amount of... Um, uh, Cold feet is on at nine. Yeah, you're to <laughs> you're totally right. I should imagine the numbers will go down then. Uh, yeah, there's a very deli uh, very little delay. Yeah, there's always going to be a delay with streaming. Always, yeah, yeah always. Um, do you use Twitter? Could share a link via the Twitter. Yeah, if you share it with your Twitter followers, that's yeah, because I imagine that most of your Twitter followers maybe would be railway related, so that would be fantastic. I really wanted to aim for 50 people watching. And then I was going to do a full, a full tour. So uh, let's do it until we get forty. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe we do a two, uh, four, two, a full tour. Forty tour. Yeah, forty tour. 
No, uh, I'm not on Twitter for the railway. No, I'm not on Twitter. But you can share it with your followers. I think that's the way it's normally done, isn't it? You share it to your followers. Um, have you weathered many up? I haven't weathered any trains up, Charlie Brook. I've done I've done the track, and I'll show you that in a minute. Well, you can probably see that, actually. Yeah, you can see that in the video. I've, I've weathered up the track. Um... I've uh, been watching, yeah, but I've been watching stream from guys with millions of viewers. Well, it's a minute delay. Maybe it's number of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Glebe. Uh, Glebe Road Junction. Hello, Terry. How you doing? Your layout is now all gone. Is it all gone? Is it, wait, what, literally all gone or just gone, gone, all gone? Is it gone, gone? Uh, Graham, yes. But yeah, Terry, we're having a, a live uh, layout session tonight, as, as you can see. Just changing a few camera angles about. And there's me in the middle. I'm here as well, um, Terry. Yeah, Max is here as well, Terry. Will you be adding repeaters to the rear of your trains? Uh, do you mean by repeaters, do you mean the little flashing red lights? Um, Terry, um, any PC game tech you know is moody, so he's saying hello, Terry. Um, I think Glebe Road, you're moving, aren't you, Terry? Or something's happened with your layout? Oh, you moved house two months ago. Oh, that's a shame. Are you going to start that another one up? Right. But yeah, we thought we'd just do uh, a little uh, live stream tonight. I haven't been up on the railway. Um, I don't think I've been up in this railway properly. So I, I know I said it at the beginning, but obviously we've got more people in now. I haven't been in this railway for probably about a year now. I've come up here um, to put the Christmas decorations away from last year. Uh, they'll be coming out again soon. But I haven't been up here to actually uh, have a good running session like we have tonight for definitely over a year. Uh, Charlie Brook, five elms for Hornby Mag slot would be cool to see. Yeah, wouldn't that be good? I'll be around for the third layout of yours, Terry. Sub since day one. Yeah, yeah, me too, Alex. Yeah, me and Terry know each other as well. I've been up to his house many times. And... Uh, yeah, I love his layout. He's a good modeler, very good modeler, Terry. Save the middle TMD section, so I may start a new one. Well, that was the best bit of your layout, I think, Terry, was the uh, the middle middle section. Probably because it come last, and you know we all know you get better as you go along, don't you? Let's slow that one down as well. Not the most crazy amount of camera angles, but. It's all experimentation. Let's have a look through there. Quite like that camera angle. Uh, your layout is looking nice though. Uh, is there going to be a TMD? I was going to do something similar to what Terry's done actually in the middle. Um, because when I show you the layout tour in a minute, um, there's enough room there is enough room there's definitely enough room but look how long it's taken me to do um to do this amount you know this is it just is it best just to concentrate on what i've got and make that um the best that i can i have got a tmd section which i can uh, i'll show you in a minute where i can do a tmd um but yeah is there any point me adding more bare baseboard i don't know at this stage i don't know there's there's so much bare uh, baseboard up here as it is. We'll see. What is a TMD? TMD is uh, like where all the trains just uh, get fixed and stuff, you know, traction maintenance depot. Right, Max will probably be finishing the layout at the rate you're going. Yeah, you're totally right. We be careful with them wires, Max. Uh, Max has got his own little layout down there. It looks a right state, doesn't it, Max? Yeah. We've got to clear it out. We've got to clear it out. Yeah, we we'll go round. Yeah, Glebe Road wasn't amazing. There's no doubt about that. Everyone's favourite was Glebe Road Junction, and it was actually one of the. Um, I say finish. What have you already started and moved on? <laughs> and there, uh, Terry said hi. Time on see you later, Moody. Yeah, see you later, mate. Thanks for dropping in. John John Schofield's going. Uh, yep. See you later, mate. Thanks for dropping in. Just leave me a little like there. It'd be absolutely fantastic. 36 likes, yeah, appreciate that because then when people are searching for model railway it comes up then, you know and uh, yeah, sorry to hear about Glebe Road Junction yeah, shame, isn't it how do you do the how do you do the how do you do the Matthew, Matthew's new, isn't 
No, no. We, we, he, he leaves lots of messages. No, um, on this um, live stream. Yeah, Matthew is new to this live stream. Yeah, so if you could leave a little like, everyone, that'd be fantastic. Keep going. Yeah, I've got my little boy here. Say hello to Max. Hello. Yeah, so me and Max are up here. How do you do the TV for the layout mock-up thing? Uh, it's t it's too big to explain here, um, to be honest with you. Um, well, on the screen now, there's nothing to do with Railmaster. No, I control the layout with Railmaster, but this what you see on the screen. Um, saying hi i found it through oh thank calling all stations twitter oh that's that's awesome thank you uh dave marson saying hi uh peter shaw hi max imagine if ever our junction was to go as well the world will probably collapse uh yeah cheers for the kind kind comments uh but watch this space for a future layer yeah it'd be good terry i think um it would be awesome to if you got a loft where you are now is it as big or is it smaller uh, would you do it in another shed maybe I mean the TV wire to the PC and can connect to any TV as a TV screen I mean is the TV wire to the P there's no TV up here I've got monitors and a computer that runs the layout um, so it wouldn't be a TV as such it's a I'll, sh I'll show you when I do the layout tour in a minute someone's asked for a layout tour so I'm gonna start I did it similarly in a, one of my last videos actually but I, I'll do it here on the live stream it's not a problem and uh, once you start me rambling then I'll, I shall go around the whole layout I've got a, a very long cable on my best camera so yeah that would be ideal uh, but yeah 33 watching appreciate that let's change some camera angles <coughs> where should we go Oh yeah, of course, um, Terry, um, Michael's here as well, Michael Brooks in the chat, you know Michael, you obviously know Michael, um, he's there, he's in here as well. Yeah, it's a much larger loft with no support support beam, so plenty of scope for an even larger may out. maybe, bullshit, get it done Terry. <laughs> if you've got a much bigger loft without those bloody support beams like we've got, then uh, yeah, you've got to get it done. I'll start doing some live streaming. Right, give me a, give me another sip of that before we do the. Uh... No, actually, where's my tea gone? <laughs> Mum brought me up a tea, didn't she? Kind kind enough to brought me a tea. Next running session, could you run a timetable or a train stopping or starting in the? I could do stopping and starting. I wouldn't do a, um, a run a time train a time table. That's not what. That's not my sort of thing. Is it all sub cameras and what uh, spec pick to run the free cameras? I'm actually running it on a laptop um, at the moment, so you don't need a massive. Um, it's not the easiest thing. It's the, the bit of software is called um, uh, the bit of software. I'm, I'm reading what everyone's putting, so I'm trying to stay focused on one question at a time. It, it's it's a weakness of mine. I'll see something else and I'll start talking about that. OBS. If you type OBS into Google, you'll see uh, it's a development bit of software. It's not easy. Um, you have to have a certain amount of knowledge to be able to um, do it. It's not obviously for model railways. It's for streaming anything. Pr preliminary, uh, primary games uh, is what it's used for. So if any of you have been to my live streams on my other channel, which is in the eye in the above me, you'll see that you can stream your game, you can have a couple of camera angles, you can do a, a green screen behind you so you can't see all behind you. That's what I'm running here. I've installed it onto my laptop, it's a fairly high spec laptop. So yeah, you do need a fairly good laptop to do it or PC. I'd be able to do it at a much better quality and a much better resolution on my main gaming PC, but I'm not going to bring that up here. Um, I don't want to drop it. Can you imagine that? <laughs> um, so yeah yeah it's called OBS uh, what sort of cameras just normal webcams mate um, I've got one high quality webcam which is the top left picture um, the one on the bottom right is just a normal sort of Skype camera um, and that's not very good but that's okay the one in the middle where you see me that's built into the laptop so I've got three cameras effectively uh, <laughs> Of course, I've got Battlefield One, uh, Terry. Have you not seen my other channel? Of course, we've been we've streamed Battlefield One last night for four and a half hours. Or was it three and a? No, it's four. Was it three and a half? No, no, it's four hours. 
yeah, um, we streamed it for four hours last night. So I know I said I wouldn't talk about it, but if anyone likes gaming, subscribe to my other channel. Um, I'm always on there doing something. Um, click the eye above me, you'll see uh, Game Tech UK. Um, so that's my other channel. If you don't know that, I've got another channel as well. I probably unfortunately put more effort into that channel, but it's something I'm trying to build up. This I've got a fantastic audience. Um, so yeah, you know I want to start building this channel up as well. David Williams says I'm sub to a lot of you guys, Glebro, Dave Class, and Ever Everard Junction. Yeah, definitely all the big boys. I, I don't really, um, uh, I don't really put myself up with them. Definitely, but. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna be getting there a lot more now as well. I, I love live streaming. What what better way than to do something you enjoy, such as the railway or gaming, and chat to you lot? So I think it's brilliant. Ever use Java model railway interface? No, I've never used that. Uh, missed out. ISC eighty two. Oh, He's not really a model. He, he's all right. He, no, I, I really like him. Yeah, the kids like him for some reason. Yeah, but he doesn't really do modelling. I mean. Does he do modelling? Yeah, he does rowing. Tell me if he showed the loft layout. The loft layout he keeps talking about. Has he showed that? I think so. Oh, okay. Uh, sad to see Glebe Road gone, uh, but love to see what comes next. Yeah, definitely. You, you'll get on there, Terry. I know you will. I know you will, mate. I see 82. <laughs> oh gosh. Now you can't say that, Glebe Road. I'm gonna. That's it. I've got to ban you for that now. Yes. I'm, I'm banning him oh. for that now. He's starting it. He's made like a couple of videos. I remember watching him uh, probably a bit cool. When we when I used to come up your house, Terry, which was what three years ago, he was still talking about I'm gonna show you the loft layout, you know? Um but he's had quite a few health problems. Oh, okay. And, and um, Dunwood, uh M Bell uh, Productions, are you doing shout outs? I'm not or shot outs. I'm not doing any shot outs today. Um I can bang. Uh, Glee Road, yes I can Matthew and I will do as well Terry um, I'm not doing shout outs today my next shout out is going to be live from the loft, I'll tell you why because I've been so busy to get out and do the, the shout out videos, if you haven't already seen my shout out videos uh, that, those that are watching, again if you click the eye above me, let me just check that I've put it in there if you click the eye it says my previous shout out videos um, click them um, and subscribe to the people in them are shots out of focus shots I don't know what that means uh, he had an accident with a fence all right the guy with the Lego layout yes and the end gauge and the bloody yeah yeah don't know he's all right he's doing well he's got thousands of subs he has got he does Minecraft yeah there you go mm. right when I've done this tea I'll take you around the layout but it's been nice though, I've really uh, enjoyed you lot coming in, it's been really nice. It's been awesome, I think it's been a success and something that I want to do again. Let's just move that round a little bit. I like that little corner of the layout, the bottom right one, I do like that. Stop flapping about Max. <laughs> Let's see if we can turn some lights off. Let's see what that looks like. We'll go for a bit of a dark look. How does that look? You see my latest update? If you want TMD ideas, check out my latest. No, I haven't, Hartford, but I will have a look at you, mate. Uh, I am subscribed to you. I've just checked. You've got 248 subs. Yeah, definitely. Um, Paul's uh, Paul's got to go. He's picking the missus up <laughs> from the real station. All right, well, wave to me when you're there, and I'll, I'll see you. Yes, I will. I will um, put a little message out, Peter. Yeah, I will do. I'll, I'll do a video the night before, I think. Um, yeah, it's night time. We've even got a uh, realistic um, time here. So, yeah, definitely. You're a pioneer. Never seen a live model railway. No, I know. I know. And that's why I wanted to do it. I'm into the technical side of things. It's what I do for a living. And, and I love anything, anything technology. And I like doing something that people haven't done before. Don't we all, you know? So I thought, hang on a minute. I think I, I started with the gaming again talking about gaming again I started with the gaming and the live streaming there everyone does that that's nothing new at all and then I thought hang on I could take this technology in my gaming room up to the loft and uh, 
farming sim yeah i'm definitely banning in now we don't want to talk about that shit terry <laughs> uh why not do a live stream model show yeah why not um yeah go on charlie brooke go and get a tea might as well get the hose out for realistic weather than it i can't soak it can i i can't it looks quite good actually from what i can see on the screen with the lights out yeah we're not talking about bloody farming sim craig says he's really enjoying this thanks mate i appreciate that Live building with a Q&A, yeah, 100%. I'm, I'm, tonight has made me uh, definitely 100%. When I come up here doing updates, and when I come up here working on the layout, I'm going to get a couple of cameras set up and just talk to you lads, you know? <laughs> Total waste of money. Honestly, Terry has spent so much money and wasting so much money on farming sim, and I, I can vouch for that, isn't it, Terry? <laughs> Can you live stream more than one at a time and have uh, like a discussion? Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, you probably could do that. Have you any Steam Locos? Uh, because it could be a Steam stream. <laughs> choo choo. I haven't got any. I think I might have one. Yeah, I have got one. one. Top, top. No, I've got, no, no, no. got one here, and I? I don't even know what it is. I've got, um, I've got one. It's a 30800. It's quite a nice Steam Loco, actually. <laughs> Can we talk at, at least talk about proper games like Grand Theft Auto, Battlefield One, or even Forza Horizon? I love. Yeah, you got a little. Yeah, he's got a little GWR. Fifteen quid tractor DLC. Terry, you got to get off that shit. Honestly, um, <laughs> look like a castle class. See, going back to what I was saying earlier, you lot will know way more about trains than I do. The, the reason I got into Model Railway. Um, was just purely for modelling, uh, watching Terry's videos, watching Everard Junction. The trains never excited me, really. You know, it's, it's weird. It's hard to explain. It's the modelling that I get. I get the enjoyment from. And you don't need sort of train experience if you like to do that. Peter Shaw's going. Yeah, see you later, mate. I just, I just found out I got another one. Got another one. GWR. Say goodbye to Peter, Max. Oh, Peter. Peter Shaw's going. Oh, bye. Uh, completed the GTA story in 22 hours yeah oh. yeah we had GTA oh what about Terry we used to play GTA didn't we Terry I remember I was watching you and, and, and you had a, 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 a firework gun and you just fired yeah we had the firework gun me, we, me uh, Terry um, and uh, any PC game tech we used to just get out the car and start punching each other there's one point where we just couldn't couldn't do anything for laughing um, it's, I'm not the trains, but achieving a model masterpiece. Well, you definitely achieved that, so you, you definitely got your achievement there. Um, yes, so the modelling, you can pick that up. You don't need to be a train expert to pick that up. Um, and you can use lots of different aspects. It's not like just train modelling, where, you, you know, if you want to model a, a layout, you don't only have to know about train layouts. The skills from other areas of modelling and crafting can all come in. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with what I've done. And when I look back, I think, God, I spent so much time up here. And ever since the gaming's come into my life, well, actually, the gaming's always been there. But ever since it's really been there, uh, I mean, you know, every day, <laughs> um, I've, I've just neglected this, really. And I'm looking around now, and it's such a shame, because it is a, a little, what I what I think is a little masterpiece of what I've done, considering, as Terry knows, um, I'd never done anything like this before. Nothing at all. Uh, it's... Yeah, Graham, uh, MCK, says he's the same in the loft layer. It's the building, the kits, etc. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't even need... Like, like you just said there, Alex, you don't need um, a big piece of... You know, you don't need the space that I've got here. You could just get... It doesn't even have to go round and round. It could just do a picture. Um, <laughs> you can't wire a plug. I'd kill yourself, yeah. Hello Tony, uh, how you doing mate? Um, he's a total newbie, enjoying the live feed, all the best, thanks mate, appreciate that, it's the first time I've done it. Um, and one, one thing that you, you know with me, is I'm all for the railway community, that's why I started doing um, the, the shout out, so 
I don't know if there's anyone new to the channel in here tonight. Probably not. I think you're all regulars. Um, but you, you know that I've been doing the live stream, uh, live streams, the shout outs recently. Um, and they've been going down really well. And I like the editing. Um, I like the whole idea of doing the vlog. Yeah, Dunwood, he likes the weather. And we all like something different. Uh, but what I do like is is the community. community. So every time I've done the, light, um, um, the shout out video, most people, including people like um, uh, Charlie Brook, went up at least, I think it was about 100. Uh, there was another one, Sammy, went up 140. It's a good little thing, and it all keeps the community going. So I've just seen a couple of you in there, so I'll check you out. Check each other out. That's what it's for. With the game inside, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of competition. Everyone holds their cards t close to their chest in case someone else copies what they do. I'm not bothered about that here. You want to live stream, do it. I mean, talk to each other, um, sub to each other. We've all got, you know, layouts at different progressions. Um, yeah, just, just sub to each other. You know, at least you know in here, in this room, you could pretty much click every single name uh, I'm just going down now, and we've all got layouts. We've all got small layouts, large layouts. We've all got a lot of subscribers, not a lot of subscribers. Just sub to each other and then start chatting. That's that's why. That's another reason why I do these videos as well. There's nothing to. There's no cards to be held close to the chest. Just share it. It's only a, it's only a sub, isn't it? I mean, Charlie Brooks on 141 now because I think you're still getting people coming over. Shame you can't have your office up there to record a long run on Railmaster. Then when you're working on board, put them up there and just sit and watch. Yeah, I could do. I could do the live stream up here and then just go back down to the office. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you, Matthew. You said something about how bad I look. So I've never forgotten that, you sod. <laughs> on my first shout out. <laughs> uh, it's good for inspiration. Yeah, definitely. You know, sub to each other. That... Right, I'm going to put this light on now. Right, let's put all the lights on and take you round start to finish, I suppose. Do you know any local model clubs close to the Medway area? I think, uh, I live in Sittingbourne actually, um, and I know in Morrison's they've got a, um, you know, a pin board, and there's one on there, I think it's in Faversham, I think it's in Faversham, and they was asking for new members. Um, Yes, Alex, yes. Um, have you ever thought about merging your two passions and giving Train Sim a go? Yes, I have, actually. Um, and one of the reasons um, one of the reasons why was the live streaming. I think it would go down a storm if I could get Train Sim up and running and, and live stream it to the railway. But that goes back to what I said a minute ago. I don't know much about trains, so, you know, it would be... I just literally don't know much about the actual trains, the class 30, the class 33. I don't know enough about that. So whether that would hinder me giving you a good stream of a um, a, a railway sort of a, a simulator, I don't know. Uh, not got a layout, but we'll be gaming on my channel in the near future. David, did I already ask you, are you sub to my other channel? I think you are anyway. Um, Tony Carrington, starting my layout in January. What's the best tip you can give me? The best tip would probably be to get the baseboards done properly. Don't do it properly. That's what I would say. Um, <laughs> get a helper. Yeah, definitely. Now, I think start with the baseboard. Don't try and rush it to get to very quickly get some some modelling done. Um, so I, I would say get the uh, get the baseboards down. And actually, one of the possible it didn't turn out like a mistake, but one of the possible mistakes that I made. I felt that I had to get my whole track plan all down, all all tacked to the board before I could start any modelling, and that that's wrong. That's wrong. What I should have done is just got this section here where we're doing the train, where we're doing the the sort of uh, the the filming, if you like, get that tacked down. But there was no there was no there was no problem for me to leave the rest of the the layout untacked. That you know I, I could have just left that where. I've tacked everything down so it's all set in stone. It turns out that I spent so long thinking about it that actually that, that is the best design for me anyway. Um, let's get something else in. It's quite surprising actually how few camera angles I can get out of this. <laughs> let's have a look. I've got to be careful not to damage any of the layout as well.
How many views, mate? We got 32 watching, 39 likes. Max is interested in likes and views. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, exactly, Graham. Yeah, you use good wood. I'll tell you what has changed in the time that I've been doing this layout is the cost of wood is unbelievable. Um, yeah, the cost of wood. Get the baseboards 100% flat. Yeah, agree. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do my baseboards as they don't line up properly. Again, I don't know your situation, Charlie, but, but that could have been a case of like almost like the excitement, the rushing. Let's get that down because I want to get some trains running. You have to sort of take a step back, you know. Um, <laughs> you do a grand an hour. <laughs> Uh, Everard Junction had a whole video. Yeah, he did. I remember he had a whole video where he didn't even show us fixing it, but he still made a video out of it. Uh, Moody's back. Any PC game tech. Hello, Moody. Um, buy a forest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, wood has got so much, so much expen uh, so much more expensive than when I first started. It's, it's crazy. Let's change this one up here. have a look yeah exactly Charlie Brook you, yeah you want to get um no that's not a very good camera angle I'm showing you stuff that isn't even modeled there let's uh what about showing you my my rock face Ever seen the Great Train Robbery? I love the idea. Yeah, I love the Great Train Robbery. Actually, yeah, I do. Yeah, I know. I know exactly where that um, uh, that flyover is. Yeah, the bridge is. Um, Terry saying is getting very. It's very important to get all the woodwork done correctly before you're even thinking of building the layout, as this can end up costing you uh, so much more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You'll like this one, Max. Suzuki said, "Wood's dear. It's expensive. Uh, it doesn't grow on trees, you know." does grow on trees doesn't it it's wood oh yeah it does it does wicked um <coughs> so we've got 42 likes yeah so anyone that's in if you could um just leave me a little like that'd be fantastic uh okay that's weird with 50 rake of uh crabbling slightly yeah probably yeah I, um emo i haven't been up here for probably a year um is it what sorry Yes, yeah, he is new to the stream. Uh, calling all stations um, uh, tweeted it out actually, so that was really nice, wasn't it? Uh, best possible way to do your layout is fork out uh, a lot on the baseboards, make it over the top tough so when it gets round, yet, yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Just the money has got to be spent on the boards, that's the most important bit. Um, Twist the Rock Canada as that shot the bridge makes it look huge tall. It is huge and tall. It is. That is that, that viaduct is huge and, and tall. That is the idea with that one. That is a, a very large... Um... No, no, Moody. I'm just about to do the tour, actually. Just about to do that. Good. Oh, shit. Right, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, you said no swearing, right. <laughs> right, why build a million pound house on, on crap foundations? Yes, totally. Right, should we just go around and do the tour? Let's do that. Let me get this camera out, so you're going to be chucked all over the place at the moment, so I apologise for that. I put that up there, so it gave me a bit of... Uh... Right, I'm going to put it on here, so I'm not going to be able to see what you're saying um, for a little while. Oh, thanks, uh, Hartford. I posted it on Instagram. I do appreciate that. Right, here we go. I'm going to start here, and then we'll go round. Right, this stuff here, um, this is all um, insulation. You know the blocks you get from, from B&Q if you're in England? You get it on big strips. I think I've got some over here. Uh, can't get me hand on anything but this is just built up uh, and hot glued together and then all carved out um, with the knife this is all uh, woodland scenics uh, the rock molds so you can see there I've painted them all obviously by hand stained them all I was never sure about these trees but I don't know you have to tell me what you think they look a bit odd there 
Uh, I'll start at the start here actually. So this this is a wheels kit. I'm just going to move the laptop down so you probably won't see much. This is a wheels kit which I really really like this. Um, I've sprayed it primer black. Um, it's all pretty strong so I can lift that out as one piece which I will be doing to weather it. Um, it's a lovely bit of kit. I really do like it. Um, across here is going to be some kind of water scene. I'm going to make that a water scene. Um, what I'm thinking of doing, I'm going to, I'm, I'm jumping ahead now, but what I'm thinking of doing, this section here, I was going to make into a TMD. Now I can't see the cameras, I uh, can't see the laptop, so I don't know what you're saying at the moment, but so you'll have to just bear with me. This little bit here is going to be a TMD, and uh, so I'll, I'll go up high with the camera. That's going to be a TMD. Possibly, I don't know, on one of my previous videos I did, um, I did mention that the idea of maybe stopping the railway, stopping the scenic there, and, and putting this as a storage, uh, just use it purely as storage. Take that out there, so you have to excuse my uh, dodgy camera in, take this out here, because behind there, I don't know whether you can see, again I can't see what you're saying on the screen, uh, but behind there is my sort of storage and as it goes back and I can have loads of lines of storage because what I haven't got on this layer and what a lot of us haven't got is enough storage because all we want to do is, is is scenic it so I'm thinking of stopping the layout there you'll see when I go all the way around but I'm thinking of stopping the layout there and spreading this out and just having this as pure storage um, I don't know yet so possibly the laptop could actually start here this is going to be the start of the layout so the hillside is going to come down there's going to be some kind of uh, um, uh, water scene here then we're going to go back up to the layout I, I like different light levels that was a, a big driver for me I wanted things on different levels right, I'm just going back to the layout Yeah, I wanted things on different levels. Now, I didn't have room or skill to do um, a helix. That's why I've put this, this upper line up. Totally independent. It doesn't connect itself to anything else. Um, these are two analog lines, so I, I can just run on a norm, normal Hornby um, connector. I suppose I could put up um, a, a digital system to it, but it's not in, it, not in any way connected to the four tracks that are down the, the bottom. So we've got four running tracks down the bottom this outer one here and this outer one they're, they're storage but they do connect up so I can use them as running lines but effectively there's four lanes going around the whole the whole layout so what I can have is basically six trains running at one time four on the lower one controlled through the e-link which I'll show you in a minute um, and two of the upper ones which are run on an analog system um, <coughs> Uh, layout, this this layout is massive awesome, wicked, I'm glad you like it mate, I'm glad you like it. Right, so yeah, th let's get back to what I was starting was, this is all glued together with um, a hot glue gun, use a knife and, and all sorts of implements that I found in the kitchen to, to gr cut all these grooves out, we've put, my wife made me up these um, uh, Woodland Scenics rock moulds, she made them all up. They're really easy actually, but I couldn't get the mixture right, so I handed it over to her <laughs> and she did it absolutely perfect. Again, all this is the same foam board, so I don't know whether you if you have or if you uh, are interested, if you go back to one of my earlier videos where I actually do the, um, the airbrushing, all of this can be removable. I could take this laptop, this laptop, it's because I'm trying to talk fast to keep it interesting. Slow down, Jason. <laughs> I could take all of these sections up. Everything here is, is removable. I can literally just lift that out. I can lift this section out. Everything is removable. I, I could strip this down to bare, to bare bones and just leave it with three platforms. That's how much I can strip it out. Um, which again was something I thought in the future maybe if I want to change it or like you know if I want to put um, uh, an industrial background across there and, and change it up a bit all I have to do is literally just just pull that out and I could change that so I thought that would be interesting um, the amount of people I know that have um, ripped up a whole layer because they want to change it well as long as I don't mind keeping the same track plan I could literally pull it up now and put um, a TMD, not a TMD, but like a, a warehousing and all that sort of stuff along there to keep it fresh and interesting. Um, 
So I'm really proud of my weathering actually on here. I'm going to put this back to so I can see what I'm showing. Yeah, this weathering, I was really proud of that actually. I'm, that's some of my best work there, I think. I mean, it is it is quite detailed and yes, I, I do like that. I come up here, I always look at that. I didn't know what colour to do it, and I just thought the green looks really nice. I'm trying not to move the camera too much. Just the green looks really nice. It's finding it hard to focus this webcam. But that's all airbrushed up there. Um, got a nice little bit of graffiti in there as well. I'm very much for the detail, and I think Terry actually taught me that, to, to be honest with you. The fact that when you look in, you know, like you wouldn't initially see all that, but when you look in there it looks it looks quite good I've got the signals up there nothing's wired up signal wise and I and I won't be running signals on the on the layout I don't know enough about signals and, and, and all that sort of stuff so I'm not it just doesn't interest me I know that might be blaspheming to a lot of people but it just literally doesn't um, it doesn't interest me that side the timetables and, and the, 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 uh, the signals I'll probably wire that one up and just leave it green whether that's right or wrong I don't know but that's what I'll probably end up doing these trees are made, all made some from sea foam so I've made these trees myself I've mixed in some ready-made trees just to give it um, a slight look I like this little tree here the one with the almost like the apples on it I like that tree that wire fence is all made from matchsticks with two little um, holes in and I've got some wire from the pound shop and fed it through the entire lot so I'll just follow it round. It literally it goes up and down. Contours better than anything you could buy a plastic, um, and it costs nothing. What did the matchsticks cost? Absolutely nothing. Just give them a little uh, weather up with a, a dirty cloth, and just put it there. So from an angle, it really looks like it it, it hugs the contour as it would in real life. All right, let's see if you if you want to know anything while we're on that section. Uh, Liverton's come in. Hello, Liverton. How are you? I'm going to put that down there before we move on. Uh, <clears throat> any scenery plans for background? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it white, actually, um, David. Um, no, I just started the tour. I'm just having a little break. <laughs> Let me have a bit of your sprite. Oh, see you later. Oh, you've drunk every single bit. Yeah, see you later, Hertford. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, excellent work. Looking forward to getting back on my layout. I hope it all ends uh, looking as good as yours. Very good skills you have and your wife. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. But yeah, she's she's got good skills. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so with the background, I think I'll just leave it white. I think it's very... Um, uh, I, I think it's very unobtrusive. And where my layout is on different levels, I don't know how a, um, a background would work. I'm not sure. Right, okay, so let's carry on. Hopefully you're all enjoying it so far. We've got, lot, we got lots of likes. Look at that, 45 likes. I do appreciate that. That's really good. And what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll edit this down. Um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I see what you're saying. Yes, she mixed up. She didn't paint them. Uh, she didn't paint the rocks, but she mixed them all up for me because I was having trouble. I was mixing them up how I thought... Um, how I thought the instructions said they was coming out soft and it just it just didn't look for it right and you could break them and I thought well that's not right that that's not going to last the duration so I think I got the arse of it and uh, handed it over to her a couple of days later she brought me up all these rocks and uh, they are hard as rock and, uh, and then I got to um, oh, don't press it too hard it ain't that hard <laughs> um, and then I got to, to work painting it um, so in terms of questions, yeah, someone was asking about the uh, the backgrounds. I think I'll leave it white. It's very, I don't know what the word is. It's very unassuming. It just it, it just lets the the modelling do the talking. I find if the, I find the backgrounds because they're effectively just wallpaper, aren't they? I find they age much much quicker than the layout does. So in putting up. Um, in putting up the the backgrounds and then basing all the the modeling over the top obviously that's going to be hard to change isn't it and what i find is is that the, the the backgrounds they start to peel off they go a bit wobbly and it makes the layout look old whereas here it's just white it's not doing anything it's not doing any harm it looks good in pictures um yeah so i think i'll probably just leave it as that 
Uh, rocks hard as rocks. Yeah, but they're not real rocks, are they, David? <laughs> Do you know Neville Hill? I've never heard of him, mate. Uh, right, okay, so let's carry on. This little bit here. In One thing that I found up here, actually, which a lot of you will know, the fluctuation in temperature is a bloody nightmare. It really is. Um, so this this here for example um, it's just bending I need to get some more glue in there but the the heat or the the, uh, the cold has made it all bend out so they I've got I've got a little bit of housekeeping I'll call it housekeeping up here to do where I haven't been up here for about a year I would call it housekeeping in the fact that I've got a, li a little few jobs like this to do uh, which I'm gonna do I'm, I'm so into my layer just like the real thing <laughs> Yeah, um, doing this doing this live stream tonight and chatting to you lot has really given me incentive in my own layout, to be honest with you, and I'm really going to get back into it. Um, so this little section here, this 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 sort of uh, section here, uh, I live in Sittingbourne, and this is based on where I live actually, loosely based. So it's got a. Uh, um, I like this station actually. This is a. Um, oh, what's it called? What's What's the kits called? Uh, what's the bloody kits called? I'm going over here, hang on. I bet someone's typed it. Metcalf. This is a Metcalf station now. Um, people like Terry uh, and other people in the room might have enough skill to cover that in plastic I, I haven't this one is, is this one is uh, you know this is this is knackered this one I've got to do another one because um, I used to have the canopy on there this could be covered in in plastic car I haven't got the skills for that but I think it looks all right I don't think it looks too much of a problem by the time I get lights in there and a bit of um, ivy up the top there so this is Metcalf uh, as you all know as Metcalf station and I love that view going through the station there don't know why I love that but when we've got some lights in there that's gonna look um... damn you delay <laughs> yeah Metcalf yeah Metcalf okay you remember me saying years ago yes probably yeah but I'm, I'm I think I'll just leave it like that to be honest with you in actual fact I think they've they've got a new one uh, if you go to the Metcalf website they've got a new replacement for this which is much more detailed and got laser cut um, bits on it but it's got to be the same dimensions because I've actually cut out and stuck the pavement there directly around it so that's what I'm saying about everything's removable do you really need to glue that down I don't think so a lot of people like to, to almost treat it like it's real life counterpart it doesn't have to be it's just modeling as long as it looks right that's the thing with modeling as long as it looks right um, so this bit here if you type into Google sitting born station you will actually see that there's a dead end exactly like that uh, the station exactly like that uh, there's um, uh, the bike racks exactly like that I've tried to base that on where I live there's there's this crossing this this middle car parking bit everything is based on where I live here but very loosely nothing um, nothing crazy you know um, in terms of uh, copying detail these canopies I am proud of and I did do a little bit of kit bashing on them these are Pico overall roofs uh, let me get the uh, the packet for them hopefully you're enjoying the tour so far on the live stream I know I am Right, let me go back to my program so I know what I'm showing you. Now it start it starts uh, it starts life as uh, as that basically the Pico overall roof. So you've got um, black, um, you've got the glass. Let's get some glass out. No, can't see any in there. You've got some glass which hasn't got any markers. It's just got this sort of plastic ridge. And these are cream. So what I did was, um, I didn't like the black. It obviously looks too Hornby-ish, doesn't it? It looks like a model. So I've sprayed that in um, some red oxide, and I made inside um, like some uh, some steel works, which I'll show you now. And David said the canopy was the first vid I watched. Yeah, I was really pleased to to get that out actually, because I thought that people would would like it, and I think a few a few people have taken it as inspiration which is fantastic uh, right let's go back to my program so I can see yeah so first and foremost I um, 
I sprayed it red oxide. Then I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice, you know, if you imagine from an aerial view, you're going to get some of the glass that is, is a bit knackered. So I've put in these sheets of some more than others. I left the um, the, 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 the stalks, the, 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 whatever, the supports, the same cream colour. Um, and then what I did was, let me put the camera there and hopefully you'll be able to see. Again, when I talk about everything being removable, every, it's probably been up here for about a year now, so it's going to be a stick. Everything can come out. So, oh, I better move that. There's a bloody train coming. Everything can be removed. Uh, mainly, I, I did this bit for cleaning, for obvious reasons. So hopefully you can see that. Um, Yeah, so it can all be cleaned. So, it, you know, I can get in there, nothing set in stone. And what I did was I got some of this little balsa wood. I was trying to think, it took me ages to try and work out. Because every time I glued these down and then got it out, it just, it just fell apart basically because I'm not doing it like that with the, the railway coming through. I'm actually basing it on one of their suggestions, which is this one down here which is going across the track. Again, I like I like I don't think like things to look uniform on the railway. I like them to look a little bit odd because that's what real life looks like. Nothing looks uniform because everything's got to fit in with everything around it. So rather than doing this the standard thing there and actually my my tracks were a little bit wider. I think it was ideal for a two lane but not a three. So I wanted them to come this way. Um, and I was just trying to think how I could move them in and out without these stalks coming off. Because you try gluing that stalk onto there and then moving them around, it, it, just forget it, it would, it would break off. So I put this balsa wood across the whole top and uh, it worked out alright, pretty much the same colour. Um, and it means that I can pull, pull all the stuff in and out for cleaning uh, and checking of things. Derailments. We've got um, these advertisement boards um, with the lights on. Let's turn some lights off actually while we're up there. See what it looks like. That's too dark, isn't it? <laughs> that is too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. Yeah, that was too dark. We'll leave it like this though. So we've got the advertising boards, um, I can't remember, I think Ten Commandments they might have come from, uh, and the lights, again all the lights all drilled back through there, they run off a Hornby controller, the same as um, the, 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 uh, the lights there, <coughs> oh sorry about that noise, I hit my mic on the, um, on one of the rafters, sorry, I hope I didn't blow your ears out, yeah so the, all these are run through a Hornby uh, controller. And I, and I printed them out of Google. It's amazing what you can find on Google. So you don't have to buy all this stuff. It's amazing what you can print. This um, this back wall, um, that again, I've, I've done that over about three or four videos. That, that's my second attempt at the wall. And I really like it, actually. I really do like that wall. And I've put in all the weathering um, down there for all the raindrops as well. That's I, I do like that wall. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Um, and that's just some wheels, uh, some wheels um, fencing kit, which I thought looked quite good, especially in green as well. It looks like a sort of council um, railing that would be put up there, so that's all cool. Up here, again, this is all this is all strong as anything. You could do it with um, plaster cloth uh, and um, you know wire netting and all that sort of stuff. But what I find is doing it like that, you, you push a tree in there and it all starts to blow away. This stuff, I can pull trees in and out, I can do it exactly as I want and that's so strong. Uh, there's a little a running track all the way out there. Again, I like all the different heights. I don't like anything to be flat and that sort of goes off in the distance. You can't really see where that goes. That's, that's the idea there. Let's see what you're saying in case you need any questions. Uh, Charlie Brooks tally just exploded, so that's good. Oh, well, sorry, because of my yeah, because I hit the thing. I do apologise. 
have you tried scalescenes.com? Yes, I have. Yeah, he's a good lad, actually. I think he's a, pretty much a modeler himself, isn't he? Um, need a dimmer? Yeah, you're totally right, actually. But the thing is, I've got um, strip lights, uh, David. So yeah, I don't think I don't think um, dimmers work with that. Uh, yeah, dead sheep. Yeah, it's because I haven't fed them. I haven't been up here, and it they've all died. I will need to get more animals. Uh, you use bog rolls for hills. Yeah, you can do that. That's not a problem. Right, let me put before we move on. Let me put some lights back on, and I'm going to put these canopies back on. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. If I'm getting a bit rambling now, just just let me know. Just let me know because I do start to ramble quite a bit. So if I'm getting a bit rambly and not making much sense, obviously, but I'm been talking now for a couple of hours or an hour or so whatever it is I've really enjoyed doing the live stream I must admit and there you go within seconds I've got the canopies back now the bit I actually made let me go back to uh, see I've got a, I'll go back to the OBS program it shows me what I'm doing live so this bit here is, I'm, I'm really proud of this bit, this was totally my own idea, um, made of balsa wood, sprayed silver and glued in, and I love it, I absolutely, that's one of my favourite bits of the whole layout, is this sort of, um, this sort of inner steel work, I mean it does, and I'm obviously talking about my own layout, that's what the stream's about, but I do love that and I think it looks good, it's good for pictures, uh, hang on mate, it's good for pictures, and uh, it gives, it gives the layout, uh, I think, a, a real look. Because without that, it'd just be em empty in there. And if you go up to Victoria and all that sort of stuff, you know, real construction, again, I'm not prototypical, but real construction has all this. And I just think it looks really good. Especially looking at it through there, you know, you, it just looks good. And I'm really, really proud of that. Anyone is free to copy it, though. There's no cards held close to the chest here. You got any ideas from this, I'll, I'll, I'd be... Uh, I'd be impressed that you, you like it enough to do it. So any ideas, take them. Right, so let's do that bit. What's the track on the carport for? To the right of the station side in. The track to the carport. Don't keep stopping that sub... Oh, we've had a derailment up the top. Leave it, leave it, turn it off, turn it off, just leave it. You can't play that one anymore, Max, because it's derailed, okay? It's still, it's still on, but we've had a little... Them carriages are meant to be behind it. How are they ended up in front of it? <laughs> eh? No, leave it like that for now. Uh, what's the track on the carport for? To the right of the station siding. I'm not sure... Oh, what, this little thing here? That's just, that's just there, mate. That's just there. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, uh, Productions. Yeah, I, I, I do like it. It's a nice roof, yeah. it's a, What I like about it is I turn something quite simple and quite cheap into something that people, whoever comes up here, um, I don't get many visitors up in, in the loft, but anyone that comes up here instantly says, wow, look at that station, and that's what I wanted. So I can't even remember how much they were. They're, they weren't expensive kits. How, how, uh, how, uh, are you doing yeah. Hang on. Yeah, so that is not an expensive kit by any any stretch of the imagination. I, I, I don't know how much they are. Offer there, please, Max. I don't know how much they are. Probably twenty quid a piece. I don't know. But if you go from that to a lot of a lot of time and effort. I mean, I masked every single one up to get that line. You see that line there? That is is the same. Because otherwise, what you was having was on the standard bit of glass. You was having the glass. And these sort of reinforced bits were also made of glass as well. And that just, to me, again, not being prototypical, but it didn't make sense to me. I wanted the same construction to go all the way through. So I've got the yellow um, masking tape, the real fine stuff. And every single one of these, it's in a video, in one of my video updates, um, I masked up every single one and then sprayed it and then had, had to uh, wait for it to dry and then peel all the masking off without scratching the roof. But anyone who comes up here goes wow look at that station and I think that's that's all I wanted really it's certainly not the biggest station so let me give you the widest view that I can see what I'm seeing so I mean it's not it's not crazy wide and I could possibly even do with two more but it, it's a compromise to making the station look big 
but not covering it up. Um, and that was one of the reasons why I kept with the Metcalf in the middle there, because I thought, well, it's not the most realistic of stuff. What, you going downstairs? All right, mate, Max is going down. What, you going down for good? Are you going down? No, I'm just going, I'm getting come back. Oh, he's going to come back. I'm definitely going to come back, because I don't want to leave you guys. Right, go on then, Max. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> right, go down because I'll shut this. I've got this uh, the the flap here, and then I'll just put this down here. That's good enough for me to me to stand on. Uh, you know, I ain't going to fall down. Right, uh, where was I? Yes, I could probably have another two there, but it's all about what looks good to the eye, and that's that's the the real key to the modelling. If I have another two, all I'm going to do is end up covering it up. I want to make it look like there's a mixture of everything. I've got the canopies and I've got the bare station area as well. Uh, what else about this bit? My platforms, I think I created something unique uh, in the way that I made them. I've, I've seen people afterwards, um, not copy it, but good copy it. Um, but I never saw anyone before. I've got eight, someone's knocking on my flap. Oh, come on, Max, because I'm chatting to these dudes. All right, hurry up. Sorry, guys, I won't be a minute. <laughs> Let me just close that. Right, the platforms, 18 mil uh, plywood. Now, what I did was these are actually matchsticks. So I don't know whether you can see, but this is matchstick stuck on the side. Um, I've got the idea for the platform from Everard Junction, um, 18 mil ply, cut it down, you've got an instant platform, that's lovely, leave it plain. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to Liverton in a minute, yeah, no worries Moody, thanks for that. Um, let me just finish with this station bit. So 18 mil and, and cut, the, I've got them to cut it down at a and q um, so I went in there and I come out with three ready-made platforms, you know, for the sake of back then, I don't know what it was, a bit of a tenner or something like that. But I thought, what about this overhanging bit? You need something, you need an overhang on a platform. So you, you'll see in one of my videos, I sort of thought, well, hang on a minute. What about if I cut some matchsticks down um, and glue them on, paint them white, then get some brick plaster card, plastic card, um, and obviously, you know, weather that up. And I've got what I think is an awesome bit of kit there. Um, I'm whilst off um, a section there. Again, I'm not sure whether this is right for my sort of era, but I ain't too worried about that. As long as I, as long as it looks like what it's meant to look like, that's the important bit. Um, that's actually yellow masking tape. The thin line is yellow masking tape. Um, you know the really thin uh, Tiama stuff, Tiami, Tamia, Tamia masking tape. And then I just put a blade down there with a metal line and just cut it. And I'm really proud of them platforms. I think they're all right and they're really not expensive. I mean, you can pay a lot of money for ready-made stuff, but it looks rubbish. Um, in actual fact, I went down the ready-made uh, route, um, but I was in sections and you just saw a join every one and it just wasn't very good. Right, okay, so um, Liverton, yes, I am going to do some shout outs. Um, the next shout out that I'm going to do is going to be from the loft. Uh, I'm going to do, I was going to do this as a shout out, but I haven't got what I need ready. Um, I'm going to do another shout out. I'm going to do one from the loft because I'm lazy and I haven't got much time at the moment. Um, and believe it or not, going out and making them videos, they're only what five or six minutes long, but they take ages to. Um, to edit and get right so rather than rush one uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one live from the uh, the loft so there'll still be the two shout outs in the video um, and I'll do it in between a running session and, and I'll advertise it as well so we get the right amount of people in here um, obviously tonight has been fantastic we've had an average of 30 people watching the entire time we've got 47 likes and that's with, without any advertising it as well I just literally press the live button um, so on the next one, I'll tell people that we're going to be doing the shout out. So I'm going to do one from the loft and then I'm going to go back to going out and doing some filming because I love that. Absolutely love that. Max, will you do me a favour? Will you go down and get me a can of drink, mate? My throat is as dry as a... Will you go and get us out, mate? Yeah. Thanks. Let me lift the flap up for you. Just get us a can of drink. Yeah, 
Anything, anything, any drink will do. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. In the fridge, there's some strawberry milk. In my little fridge, strawberry milk. Bring it up. Yes. You are ranking nicely on YouTube. Really? What? So what did you, how did you find it then, um, uh, Moody? What, do you just type in Model Railway or something and it comes up? I'm just going to have a little rest on my voice because I've been talking the entire time. It feels like my throat has tightened up. Hopefully you're, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is, Paul, I'm going to save the live stream and then I'm going to edit it down. So a lot of the, <laughs> Charlie Britt wants strawberry milk. Uh, I'm going to edit it down. So all the important bits, all the chatting, all the asking for strawberry milk, that'll all be gone. Uh, oh, fourth in the rankings. What do you mean by the rankings? What, are just on model railways or? Hello, U UK Rail TV. Hello, mate. How you doing? Thanks for popping in. Um... Yeah, so all the bits, me asking for strawberry milk with the camera wobbling, I can cut all that out and then I can put it up onto YouTube as a video. Then it will um, it'll, it'll show people from different parts of the world that are maybe in bed now um, that I'm doing live streams. So it'll also advertise um, the fact that I'm doing it as well. So model railways and we're fourth. Wicked, mate. Yeah, that's awesome. That's because people are leaving likes. 51 likes now, so thank you for that. And if you um, if you do want to share it, press that share button. It's always handy. Mask is back. Wicked. Here comes me strawberry milk. Oh, be no, I don't want a can of Foster. He's bought me a bloody can of Fosters. I don't want Fosters, mate. I want strawberry milk. <laughs> and that's from an eight-year-old. Why would he bring me a can of Fosters? I don't even drink. Uh, Nicholas da Costa says mine was on my YouTube uh, home screen. You must are you subscribed to me then already? Oh my god, have you got a picture of Jimmy Savile as your No. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So Craig Top Lad, thank you, mate. Um, and Cross Country is really enjoying the stream. Thank you, mate. Um, yeah, Charlie, but I should have had the Fosters. Can you imagine how the tour would find out then? All I want is me bloody strawberry milk. Wet me throat. <laughs> You have got a picture of Jimmy Savile. I, I absolutely shit myself then because I thought if that's not Jimmy Savile and that is actually Nicholas da Costa, I'm going to look like a bit of a cock now, aren't I? <laughs> uh, David Williams meant the unfinished bit of track, not the platform. The unfinished. Oh well, I'm going to go through that. That's yeah, I'm going to go through that. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm going to go through that. Once I get me strawberry milk. Are you enjoying the stream though? Is it something I should carry on with? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I know, Moody. <laughs> At least, at least I can cut that bit out, can't I? You know, we don't want Jimmy Savile again. I've just mentioned it again. We don't want Jimmy Savile mentioned. <laughs> he just wet himself. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh my god, what if he ain't? And he goes, no, that's me. Right, let's have that. Thanks, mate. I got a Come up, mate. How you doing? You alright? Cool up you come. We've got people waiting. Oh, oh strawberry milk. Hello Deverton, how you doing? Let me just have a bit of this. Have you put vodka in here? <laughs> yeah, I have actually. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Has it been two hours, productions? Is it two hours? Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's a dead. I'll have a <laughs> Has it been two hours already? People are waiting for strawberry milk. We've got it. We've got we've got strawberry milk. Hmm. That was awesome. Now I'll have the Fosters. No, leave it there because I don't want that spilt. No, right. Okay. Hello, Elton. How you doing? How you doing, mate? 38. I really wanted to get up to 50 tonight. See if we can. Be a good place to ask questions and we can bounce ideas. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to be doing more of these. Probably too many. Me and a live stream. If there's a live stream, I'm there, and it moody. I mean, any PC game to if, if any one of you, um, I'm going back to gaming now, and I, <coughs> oh god, I'm back to gaming. Don't know if any of you know. <laughs> I put a picture of Jimmy Savile on my front door. Skills the kids at trick or treat. <laughs> Lucky I know your humour, Suzuki. We know him very well. Who is Jimmy Savile? <laughs> Who is he? the devil right I don't know who he is right Charlie Brooks shared on uh, fitter uh, fitter and <laughs> fitter and twice book uh, Twitter and Facebook we've got 39 watching 
Uh, yeah, mask is like back to gaming. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm going to say it one more time. Now I've got 40 people 40! in. 40 people, lovely. Right, if you are into gaming and uh, you know my channel, <laughs> Moody said he's still laughing. <laughs> I'll drop my foot right in it there, and I. Did you hear Max say, who's Jimmy Sapp, eh? What, because of the Fosters? No, no it's, yeah, it's because of the Fosters. Yeah, yeah, it's because of the Fosters. Um, oh, someone just left. We're down to 39 now. Uh, yeah, if if any of you, <laughs> Craig is absolutely increasing. I'm going to have a time out for a minute. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> if any of you are into gaming, <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> If any of you are into gaming, uh, I do another. I do run another channel. If you click the eye above me, um, you'll see Game Tech GT UK the, is the sign. Game Tech UK. I put a lot of work into that. Actually, that's my main, not my main hobby, but that and the, obviously the model railway. <laughs> Don't leave it now. Leave it. <laughs> um, if you subscribe to me on there, I'm always live streaming games, Battlefield One, lo loads of stuff. <laughs> God, we're getting worse now. Um, all, always stuff on there. So if you if you're feeling generous, maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Um, if you're feeling generous, drop me a subscribe on the gaming side. Oh, yeah. You never know, you might like it. Um, and also, if you are into gaming, any PC game tech, drop him a sub as well, because he's a good lad and, and he's my partner in crime um, for the gaming side. Right, another drink and I'll carry on. Uh, Liverton, bye for now, mate. Yeah, see you later, mate. And don't worry, I've got you in mind. Don't worry, you, you're in, you're in, you're on my list. The views are dropping now. Nah, we're still good, doing good. I didn't know what to expect tonight, actually. I thought, well, with no advertising, um, I didn't know if people were going to come in. And I think from the first second I pressed the live button, there was eight in. Then it very quickly went to 20 and then 30. And I think on average, we've been averaging about 35 people. So it's absolutely fantastic. Right, where was I? Um, yeah, so platforms. <coughs> 18 mil plywood, matchsticks all glued along the side, uh, painted white, thin plastic card weathered up. You've got yourself some fantastic, realistic um, looking platforms, I think. I think they look absolutely fine. This bit was an absolute pain. I had to rub that down by hand, and that took me absolutely ages to get the angle right as well. Um, and See, rather than cut all the platforms exactly the same way, I'm very much against the idea of, of things looking symmetrical. I like things to look a bit weird. So to cut them like that, I really did like that angle. And, it, and again, from, from a perspective point of view, it makes, the plat it makes the, this platform, it makes it feel like the station goes on. Because from a perspective point of view, it starts off bigger and gets smaller. So again, it tricks the eye into thinking that it's a very large station, and it's not. I think these are, I think these are five or six foot. It's not a particularly, um, uh, it's not a particularly big platform. And, and don't forget, when if you are starting out on, I know a couple of you are already uh, um, starting out on on doing your layout. You don't even need a station. Everyone thinks you need a station. You don't. You don't have to model a station. The station can be very restricting um, with regards to what you do with the rest of the layout. It takes up a lot, a lot of space. So you can dismiss the idea of having a station. You don't need it. But I wanted it. It's something that I wanted. Don't stand on there, Max, because you're going to hurt yourself. Um, the room you're in is almost as big as my house. I know this room is as big as my house as well, because um, <laughs> it's in the loft. Uh, isn't it a problem with a layout when you have a converted loft? This isn't converted. Um, this is, I'm going to take you around now. This is just normal rafters. And what I've done is I've, I've put on the installation stuff so you can see there's, there's fixed strips of installation all the way, insulation all the way around uh, with the cellar tape stuff that joins. And I tell you what, this is such a hot house because of that. It's, it's saved me money on heating. I don't know about you lot at the moment. It's not particularly cold anyway, but we have got nowhere near getting our heating on yet. And I think a lot of it is because I've sealed this loft. Um, let's have a look. What do you think of preservation heritage modeling? Yeah, love that. Good idea. Yeah. 
it, it's buffing. That, that's just me. Yeah, I'm, I'm buffing. I. <laughs> Engage ring road looks amazing, uh, and he has no station. Yeah, you don't need a station. Everyone thinks that you need a station. What are my dimensions? Oh, 36, 24, 30. No. Uh, right, okay. In terms of from down there um, to up there, it's 25 foot. So it's basically 25 foot long. The layout is 25 foot long. I don't know how wide these are. I'll probably say three foot, maybe? Something like that. Sorry? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go back to that in a minute because otherwise I keep stopping and then I have to think about where I am. Um, this bit up here is, I think modelling wise, that's about 10 foot. Um, but obviously the layout goes behind there. I'll show you that now. I don't know what you can see because I'm just... I've, I did a fair bit of construction. For someone who don't know nothing about construction, I'm, I'm proud of it. And the reason the, the tracks go off is because I didn't, one of my my main criteria is I didn't want the layout to look like I could follow a train with my eye going round and round and round. Um, I wanted trains to disappear off. So you can see that when it goes across there, it disappears behind this baseboard. And by the time it goes all the way around there and comes back, you know, you, you've got, a, I don't know, 30 seconds of it being out of view. So you get this sort of um, almost like a exhibition feel where trains are disappearing off you don't know where they've gone obviously I know where they've gone because I built it uh, right okay let's have a look where's my layout based at probably a bit of everything but probably where I live in the southeast I'd say um, yeah are the back retaining walls green or is that just the video uh, limits. No, these are all just normal brick colour. I'll try and get a bit closer. These are all normal brick colour. Yeah, if it looks green, I apologise for that. It could be the green um, just bouncing off of there. But no, they're, they're just normal colour. And again, that's all bits of wood. Just There's one main piece of wood, obviously. And I'm just going to wait for this train to go past. And these are, these are smaller bits of wood with plastic card. Um, and that's a bit of plastic across there with little slits grooved in to make it look like brick. I haven't got all the station lights working at the moment, but that's that's another job for another time. Got these Belisha beacons, which I love. They're probably out of time, but you know, out of it, uh, get out of it. <laughs> They're probably out of um, what's the word? Uh, era. Don't care. They look good. I'm not bothered about era. I'm not. I'm not a strict modeler. I just want something that looks cool. Uh, what's yeah I'm getting to the unfinished I'm getting to that Matthew I'm getting it I'm getting to it mate uh, this bit is some gonna gonna be some kind of uh, bus station um, and again I, I like the idea that I've mod I don't mean I like the idea the way I've done it but I like the way it doesn't follow the contour it goes in and it just gives you the idea it gives you the impression that things are happening off scene uh, rather than thinking right you've got a straight line here so you've got a model on a straight line I, I like things to I think you know what, I'm, what I mean by now. Right, this little bit here, Matthew, I'm coming to it now. This is going to be um, some sort of, I don't know what you would call it. It's going to be, I'll tell you what, I'll get. I've got the old parcel um, train there. I think it's a 128, if I remember rightly. Again, don't quote me on any trains, because... Uh, um, yeah, I'm not a train expert. I just like model railways, and that's different to liking trains. I think it's a 128. I'm going to have it as some sort of Royal Mail delivery section where uh, I'm going to carry on with this fence. Let's put that there rather than move around. I'm going to have this as a sort of, uh, uh, you know, there's going to be Royal Mail vans in here. Um, uh, some kind of delivery thing, uh, just a little mini parcel parcel service section. That's what this is going to be for. So there is going to be sort of branded with Royal Mail and all that sort of stuff, British Rail uh, Royal Mail. Um, now that's going to go up to the TMD. So I think I think we're done with this section here in terms of because this is going to take the longest bit to explain to you because the rest is just bare baseboard and all I can all I can chat to you about is my ideas really. Um, yeah, Red Star, something like that. Yeah, yeah I can see what you're saying. Um, yeah, but with everything running, 
Euro star on a branch line. Yeah, I'm not interested in one era. Oh God, you know these people that say, uh, and we know, you know, maybe there's some of you in here. That's fine. That's not a problem. But I model from February 1982 to bloody March. No, I'm not interested in that. I just, I don't know whether this train goes with the last train that you saw. I don't care. I honestly don't care. I'm doing it from a model railway perspective, and I think that's you get most enjoyment that way. Um, so yeah, what I'm saying is, uh, this is taking obviously a while to, because uh, I want to give you information, that's why you've come in, I want to give you information. The rest um, isn't going to take that long, because it's only going to be ideas basically, so this bit is the, the most important bit I think. And there's still lots of work to do, lots of work, I haven't even got any benches down, there's no benches down, there's no people, imagine this with people and, and all the rest of it, all the hustle and bustle, all the light, it's going to look it's gonna look fantastic I hope so um, I think it looks alright at the moment I hope it does because this is the main bit of my layout so without that um, uh, right I'm gonna have a bit more drink and then we'll move on Dad? yes son yep yeah. no 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 don't touch something that's alright <sighs> another bit of strawberry milk Uh, could you show more? More of what? Tell me what you want to see more of. Oh yeah, I don't care about prototypes. When people say building a heritage model railway, it's frowned upon most of the time. It's a train set. No, I don't think so. It's not, nothing's, nothing's frowned upon, is it? It's, the thing is with model railways, it's quite a personal thing, isn't it? I mean, we can put it on YouTube and, and lots of people can see it. Um, but, I mean... If I think back to the last couple of years, who's been up here? Um, I mean, Terry from Glebe Road Junction, he's been up here a few times. I tell you who does love it is my, my boy Max. His friends at school, they all love trains and they can't believe I've got a railway. And they don't care what bloody era it is. They just want to see a railway. I've had a few of the mums up here. <laughs> I've had a few of the mums up here from school. Uh, your friends' mums who come up here and they're just like, wow. Because it, it, it's it's not really heard of now, is it? The fact that you know, um, platform line looks. Oh, I thought you said gold. It's got yeah, good. Um, people don't. It is popular, isn't it? You only have to go on YouTube to see that it's popular. We all know it's popular, but once you spread that popularity out throughout society, it's not many people that have got model railways, is there? <laughs> hey boy, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> and what do you want to see? Yeah, I know. Um, but I mean. There's not many people got model railway, is there? Let's be honest. And I think, unfortunately, maybe it's a bit of a dying hobby. I don't know. Maybe as it's becoming more and more more expensive, maybe it is dying a little bit. Um, that's why I wanted to get Max into it because you've got to keep the youngsters into it because without them, it just dies. It will die when we die, basically. <laughs> um, I can't remember the bloody question now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's it's down to you and it with a heritage model. It's, I don't think it's frowned upon. It's you know it it's almost more respectful if you say no I'm modeling it because of that reason I mean I, if I didn't have it like this I'd like a World War two uh, sort of um, you know building the railway because it was still running in the war I would like uh, you know to re, re remodel it on that but that's for another time right okay so let's carry on now this is probably the next bit that I'm going to be doing next bit that I'm going to be working on and as I say I'm going to be um, uh, probably, mo I'm going to probably be live streaming this now. Um, there was no reason to put this 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 viaduct here. One of the reasons I put it here, uh, when you've got a full layout, full baseboard spreading from there down to there, it's really hard to know where to start. But it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Once you've got one bit in, the rest of it clicks into place. I like things like this because they they become a scenery divider. Max, can you stop jumping about, mate? They become a scenery divider. So by putting that there, I can almost concentrate on that section of the layer and just totally forget about this. Um, and that's that's why I did it really. But this is going to be a motorway bridge, um, and I'm going to have the um, what would it be called? You know, with the signs on. Uh, can't remember what it's called. Some kind of construction that goes metal construction that goes across with the signs on. There's going to be a central reservation lights. Um, cars all going down there that's going to be a real nice showpiece um, 
so I'll be live streaming that 100% I'm going to live stream pretty much everything I do up here uh, it might take me a little bit longer because I'll be chatting but who cares it's, that's the fun of it isn't it I can make something that is quite uh, a personal hobby into a social hobby and have you lot in there um, you know chatting and getting ideas and giving me ideas so I haven't got all the ideas I like this little bit under here actually I was quite pleased with this um, these little details that that you got to bend down and sort of look for that I, I'm very much uh, into that so initially you might not notice that all down there is all constructed and that's only just normal pico boxes with black wire there's nothing special you know it's, it's certainly nothing special all the track um, is pico now it may surprise you it may even turn a few of you off I'm not I'm not motorizing any of my points I, I can't be asked and I don't know enough about electrics and that's pure and simple um, right let's go back and see whether you're got any questions let me go back there please mate. Uh gantry yes of course gantry gantry yeah yeah uh, I think DCC sound locos could uh, yeah yeah definitely yeah I've got a couple of sound locos I won't put them on now because it's just gonna sound rubbish up here and, and through the mic I've got a couple of sound ones and they are good but after about a day you just turn it off it, you know uh, crash barriers no gantry was the answer uh, correct David and uh, Paul Gantry was the answer need a lot of graffiti under the bridge yes I don't know whether you saw earlier um, but I have got some graffiti and I'm going to be doing a lot more of that I've got some graffiti up there which I, I just love that bit absolutely love that right let's carry on Are you going back down mate all right you're going to chat on the the screen okay mate yeah yeah no worries yeah okay mate go on in go down because I'm chatting to these people now they're all going to be bored and start going to bed soon. I'll tell you, once you start me chatting, Max, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, if you are watching, leave me a like. 53 likes, what about that? That's awesome. Right. Yeah, the Rusty Bridge. Uh, that and the canopies, that's me, me most favourite bit, I think. Yeah, me Rusty... Uh, and they're only Pico ones. They're, there's nothing special, only Pico. See, I might go back and do another one of them and just live stream it. And the good thing is about uh, live streaming, um, I can uh, edit it afterwards and then put it up. Right, so that takes us down to there, doesn't it? Really, this is all. This is and going to always be removable because who wants to, who wants to fix that down? You don't want to fix that down across your whole layout, do you? So that will always be removable. So I can just whip all of this out if I need to. And then we come to the other side. Now, from, from now on, you're not going to see any scenery, so I apologise for that. Um, again, finish that off at an angle. I think it looks quite good at an angle. And it gives it... It's a different it's a different viewing angle. That's what I like. Different photography angle. Um, I've got static grass on there, so I don't know whether you can, you can see. But there is only small static grass. I don't like loads of static grass, but there is static grass sticking up. And flowers as well and just a, a scattering of flowers as if they're like, oh, I don't know, tulips or whatever, or daffodils. Right, okay, so I think a few of you are going. Did someone say Walking Dead? Let me have a look. It's not something I watch, but... <laughs> going up against Walking Dead in five minutes, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Sky Plus it, yeah, definitely, yeah. And Gaming to the Max is my little boy, so if you say hello to Max, he's he's probably going to be chatting there. Hello, Max downstairs. And uh, He's got a little gaming channel as well. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's Gaming to the Max is my boy who's just been up here. Right, let's carry on. As long as you're all enjoying it, do you want me to carry on or do you want me to save it for another uh, live stream? Graham Fenton. Do you mean Falston? Possibly Falston. Yeah, I'm going to have a drink. Let me know if you want me to carry on or whether I should just save it now and do it another time. I'm, I'm happy to carry on. It's not a problem. Keep going. Okay. Yeah, no worries. You mentioned Glebe Road Junction. How is he at the moment and his layout? He's just been in. I don't know if he's still here. If you are, Terry, say hello. He says he's moved. Um... um yeah, he's moved and the, the layout had to go. Um, uh, 
but yeah, he's uh, he's he's uh, he says he's going to possibly do another one. He's kept the middle, so I don't know if you know the middle of his layout, which is a, a TMD. Um, he's kept that, so that was the, probably the best bit of his layout anyway. Uh, he had a great layout, didn't he? There's no there's no ifs and buts. He had he had probably one of the best layouts on YouTube, I would say, along with Everard. Um, but yeah, it's gone now. Uh, do I think sound is worth it? Probably not, to be honest with you. Not not with the extra cost. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it yeah it was coming along well, and uh, me and Terry know each other, and I've been to his house, and he's been here, and uh, yeah, Everard Junction, that's on another level, and uh, Pen Withers, I love. Um, Oh, you can't say that, David, because he might be in here watching, mightn't he? Penworth is good with his scenery, but painting is awful. No, we can't judge each other's layouts like that, can we? I think he's got a fantastic layout. I would love to see his layout, actually. It's, it's absolutely massive, and he's extended it as well. I don't think there's anything wrong with his painting. The good thing is, if, if you're doing your painting yourself, it might not be the best, but it's something that you've done, isn't it? You know, There might be bits on here that look awful, but it's, it's what I've done, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's that's what's happened, Deverton. Yeah, he, he he'll, he'll start again. No problem with leaves on the lines. No, definitely not. Look at them likes though. If you haven't left a like, I'd love you to press a like because it helps me on Google. Right. Yeah, Dave's trains. Yep, yeah, definitely back on the layout now. It's that time, and it? it's that time of year. I've even got my jumper down there. My, if you look back at my very first jumper, uh, I've got a, it's like a, a creamy coloured jumper. It's got paint all over it, but it's my railway railway jumper. Uh, definitely going to get that on soon because that's awesome. Love wearing that up here. <laughs> um, well, you know, David, you, you can't have it all, can you? The layout is is the nuts what he's got. So with his background, that's just life, and it. I think actually with his background, it's meant to be a representation. It's not meant to be. You're meant to be looking at his layout and seeing it almost like an, a, almost as if it's blurred out. I think that's the idea of the way he's painted it like that. But that's why I'm going to leave mine white, and then no one's going to moan, especially you, David. <laughs> uh, all right, Max. Yeah, he's chatting to everyone. Thank you for that. Uh, be patient with Max, he's only 8 and he wants to chat to everyone. Uh, TTS Sound, well I've got a class 47 up there with TTS Sound and it's alright, yeah it's alright, we'll get that out in a minute, we'll have a look. In fact that's the one going round, so that has actually got TTS Sound. Uh, I think it was about 80 quid with sound, so it's not the most detailed thing. Um, we don't need mods in this um, room. Uh, game into the max. I don't think anyone's going to start shouting or swearing. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I think we've all got OCD to some to some point, haven't we? Right, let's carry on. So down here is I actually got this 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 area here was the first um, section of of track that I laid, and I got this from oh god, my mind's going now. Strolly International. Now I asked him if I could nick it. Um, it can. It contains a middle crossover. Um, I think these are called double slips, aren't they? Double slips and that. So basically, I can get. I've got four lanes, but I can get any track, any any train to any track just in this small section. So the amount of time that people start planning their their track, you know, a turn off, turn off over there, one over there to get it all over. I can have. I can have this train on this lane go across to that lane and obviously vice versa I could have a train on this one go all the way up there to lane 2 I could have a train from lane 1 go across all the way to lane 4 and it's really good now if I go back to what I said earlier the reason I'm not gonna have any powered turnout points is the fact that I've got strengthening all under here. I'm going to show you the messy bit, all right? So I've got strengthening all under here. All this is all strength. Forget this wire. This isn't complete yet. That's all going to be tucked up as I go on each section. But where I didn't plan, I, I've got my baseboards done first. I've got the supporting bit done first because I'm new. I'm totally new to this when I started. I, I was terrible. I didn't even put shelves up in the house. And I thought one day, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to build a model railway. And I just went and got lo shit loads of wood. Um, and started building. Probably done it wrong, but that's four years later, and there's still nothing wrong with it. But it meant that 
maybe there there's a supporting bracket and I was just like oh god I didn't think of that but I stand here anyway and uh, the type of railway that I wanted again we all want different things I wanted a railway where it's full of scenery and I can just watch the trains go past I'm not interested like tonight I haven't moved any of these trains to different different lanes I'm not I'm not really interested to be honest with you I'm certainly not going to play trains shunting stuff like that all I want to do is get them running at a reasonable realistic speed and uh, just watch them go round I, I want a railway to watch trains go round so I didn't really need much you know points everywhere there's a point section here this is full of points here obviously other than that you'll see as I show you there's points hardly anywhere else on the layout and that's one of the reasons why um, I'm not going to uh, motorise my point and the fact that I might have messed it up underneath by putting supporting brackets there first but you could have surface mount but they don't look very realistic but you don't need it all I need to do is just lean over and, and do a point so it's no big deal so here there's going to be a TMD now I'm going to have a point coming across here and this is going to work its way down to that parcel area I told you about so that's going to go down there and there's the four main lines but again I didn't want four lines to just follow eat, follow themselves around I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute I wanted to I wanted the layout to look like it had four lanes in one section to look look like it had two lanes in another section and that's where this idea come from of chopping it all about and putting the baseballs in front bit of a pain to get to but it's all right there's nothing wrong with it right I need another drink have you ever thought of wiring tubes that yeah that's a possibility as well yeah yeah that's that's a possibility but again you know it was yeah they'll never go over the keyboard <laughs> 60 likes and 40 people watching I'd love to get up to 50 I don't think that's gonna happen tonight though but you never know oh no 39 likes sorry <laughs> 39 watches um, yeah if you listen to what I've just said really do I need to mess about doing the wiring tube it's only here I can literally I know you're not meant to lean over your scenery but it's literally here and, and there's really no problem with doing that and I thought the look at the the wire underneath anyway it's really not going to be a problem to actually just not worry about all the aggro of, of wiring up putting in switches putting in more power when I can just bloody lean over there and get it done as the last bit of scenery I did recently actually in one of my last videos um, there's a wheels wall um, going across all the way there and again to give it a feeling of depth rather than put the wall against the wall uh, or the wall against the, the uh, back seam I put in a little what two inch no one inch less than one inch divide a bit of wood and glued it to that so I could do these barriers and make it look as if there's uh, warehouses with, with with room at the back that is just plastic card um, cut and glued sprayed uh, uh, grey obviously primer grey little bit of um, uh, weathering on there printed out home base that one actually looks like it's gone a little bit funny in the in the weather so that's gone a little bit wobbly I might need to put that redo that and do that on a uh, uh, a base of some sort or maybe do it maybe laminate it even because it'd be shiny so that is the last bit of um, scenery and then there's going to be a bit of a TMD up here and a bit of a TMD here really so I don't I don't know what to do there it's sort of stumping me a little bit because I don't know what to do I don't know whether to keep these sheds as they are now obviously all this all this track is not set in stone all this is this is fine um, I could ballast this and get that bit done I might I might do that and I will live stream that as well <laughs> imagine how boring that will be to watch me uh, doing ballasting but we can chat as well I love the idea of having a chat while we're doing I tell you what though my throat is tightening up something chronic all right gaming spork how you doing yeah exactly yeah yes it's not it's not um yeah gaming to the max it's a, it's a railway stream it's not a, a gaming stream so let's remember that please um 
yeah no worries fga1 i appreciate that mate and obviously anyone that isn't subscribed to me don't forget to subscribe and leave me a like we're up to 63 likes now that's absolutely awesome and what i'll be doing um i'll be editing this tomorrow and then putting it up um putting all the important bits up and uh so the people that don't didn't come in tonight they can one watch the stream and two it'll give you know give us an idea of what what we're going to stream in the future but yeah gaming and spork and, and mask and that just remember it's a railway stream we save lots of uh, fun for the gaming stream right okay so let's carry on now really as i say it's just going to be ideas now and what i'm thinking of doing so this is going to be some kind of tmd now if we go back to what i was saying earlier that over there where I've just shown you is going to be a small TMD because my main TMD was going to be here but I think I'm going to end up using this as storage I've, I mean if you look from this angle it's big enough isn't it I mean it's taken me all that all this time just to do that section there let alone doing all around there all around there all around here do I really need this as well or by the time I've done all that would I need storage so maybe I think storage might be better it might be the better option in which case i can just work on this and make this lovely and um, detailed and stuff right so that's going to be the tmd i'll we'll probably finish about there and then i think we'll have some hillsides up here with tunnel mouths going up to obviously a town scene now i'm thinking of extending i don't know what to do here now this is the upper the upper analog line so if you remember back about 10 hours ago <laughs> i've got two i've got two analog lines haven't i this one up here um this this line here goes in a loop and literally i don't know whether you can see it goes all the way around there and back so that's just a, a circle run around line that just goes round and round now this line is exactly the same it goes it goes in there and it literally disappears now you might think that's a bit of a waste but again going back to what i said earlier i like trains to disappear off so when a newcomer comes up here it blows their mind thinking where did where did that train go why you know why is it not here that's the thing i love about model railway exhibitions you know or if you go to more of a fixed ex uh, railway show the trains disappear and i love it um so that goes up there literally goes all the way behind there don't know whether you can see it but it all goes behind there it's terribly unneat behind there but that's not what we're judging it on and then comes out there goes across there and meets it now again like i say you might think well that's a bit of a waste out of all that track you've only got that bit and that bit showing but sometimes less is more and i just think it looks look it will look good i don't know what i'm going to have up here I might even have another station running along there so we can stop it up there don't know i've got to try and hide these a little bit going to be hillside now depending on what i'm going to do here i've deliberately made that one come around there because again i didn't want them to run in uniform if you listen back to what i said earlier i wanted it to look like four lanes go to three lanes and then you'll see what i'm doing up there there'll be two lanes and that's I've deliberately done that to try and make it feel less like a rail a, a train set uh, a more of a model railway right so it's either scenic this area here which i don't know what i'm going to do it's just going to end up getting ballasted uh, and look like a high speed line or i'm thinking of extending this board um, and having the board come out on top so I can still reach underneath and that not even scenic in this bit and making the most of the town scene with you know roads and, and shops and everything and, and lights and people you still got a train running in the middle of it so that's what I was thinking it's not gonna it's not gonna take away okay maybe I'm covering up four possibly nice looking um, model tracks but if I put a route you know a, a, a a town scene across there I've still got a railway running through the town scenes which I think could look quite nice uh, let's have a look why is that light not on you seeing all my junk now <laughs> I've got one more light here let me put that on so that shoots off behind there forget them um, oh sorry I've just banged my headset again 
forget them um, uh, you know the buildings there that I just put there so they'll go off there and they'll shoot off scene as well so there's another two trains that are just going to shoot off scene so what I've done here is now we've got it down to three so again it looks where's the fourth lane gone and only one of them is actually a storage one um, so it's actually only two running lines there now this little section here where I'm storing all this rubbish here or rubbish stuff I've brought that's going to be again if you think back to what I said I like things on different level this is going to be a drop down town scene so there's going to be um, a bridge with cars going in maybe even another river and the beauty of it is it's all on a dropped area without having to touch the, right, the, the actual layout the layout's all flat but the scenery around it is at different levels and that's, that's, the, that's almost like the tip you don't have to touch the railway the railway can stay flat you move the scenery about it this little bit here is my work area um, so this is where I work I suppose when the railway's done this bit could be modelled and extended along but who knows I'm thinking of like I said earlier I'm thinking of ending the railway there by my uh, by my workbench and then branching out into all storage getting rid of this getting rid of all this uh, and keeping it all down there so having a whole almost one almost I'd say half of one side for storage that's what I'm thinking of doing I don't know it's taken me long enough just to do that so surely just getting rid of that I've still got loads and loads and loads to do need another drink right let's see what you're saying yeah block of flats around the rafters yeah definitely yeah yeah you could easily do that yeah that's that's a good idea actually <laughs> god where does it end massive track I know I know I've spent a lot of time and money up here as you all know it costs money doesn't it you know um, can follow a train yeah you could do it. I could do that it's not a problem uh, super trams I didn't know this channel existed uh, would love to see this in real life the camera doesn't do it justice no I don't think the camera does any of our railways justice does it really um, which is good in a way but yeah I suppose that makes it a little bit more lonely because you think oh it does actually look better than it does in the videos it usually looks bigger on the video than it does in real life but maybe I don't know Max keep the game in chat to another time please if that's okay um, Uh, hello Stephen Orton, how you doing mate? Nice to see you. Uh, Super trams is a great idea. How do you sort uh, derailments behind the board, behind that wall? Yeah, I have to get on my knees and get behind it. It's as simple as that, um, uh, Paul. I literally have to do that, but uh, you're talking like you are going to finish it. <laughs> is this is is one this size ever finished? I don't know. I think it. I think it could be. It's actually given me more incentive now with this live streaming. You know. Um, yeah, you could do a super uh, a super tram on the upper t on the upper one. Yeah, definitely. It's given me more incentive actually. Now I'm started live streaming. It gives. I love it. I love live streaming. I love anything to do with YouTube. I love anything to do with technology. Oh, that's what I was going to show you actually. Let me have a drink. No, Moody. I'm not going to show you that. Hmm. <laughs> I prefer Metcalf over Super Quick purely because of the instructions. The Super Quick instructions are absolute rubbish. Metcalf literally uh, grab your hand and make you build it like a baby, really, you know? <laughs> yeah. Are you loving the streaming? Okay. God, how long have I been streaming now? This has meant that I said to Moody earlier, any PC game tech, his, his name's Moody, or his nickname is Moody. I said, um,. <laughs> I bet you tell all the school mums it looks bigger on video. Yeah, you got you got to come and see it for yourself. Uh, you guys need to buy an EV. What's an EV? Um, yeah, I said to Moody, uh, which is any PC going to. I think I'll do it for about half hour because there's not really much I can. I've only got a small section, and I think two hours. Two hours later. Um, fantastic stream. Yeah, over two hours. I've really, really enjoyed it. 
um, and because it's original, I don't I don't think anyone else has ever live streamed a, uh, an update. So that I'm I'm proud of really. I'm going to do lots more. Uh, and it's not I suppose in a way it's not something anyone can pick up because there's a lot of technology behind it and there's a lot of not 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 intricate but there's a lot of programs behind it that you have to get running I mean I've got three webcams running it's not easy um, but I'm enjoying it and I love it and it makes me want to get up here now and I think every electric vehicle okay yeah cool do you mean um, oh, what are they called you know where you put the magnets underneath the board and the, the is that what you mean What's the longest train on five elms? Uh, I don't know, probably about, it's probably this one here actually. Oh, that's the wrong bloody camera. Where's my camera gone? It's probably this one here. Now, I know you're all gonna moan at me because they're all brake coaches, aren't they? But who cares? I, d I don't care, do you care? Uh, this one is, is quite long as well. I think they're brake coaches. I tell you, I went down to the signal box and they was having a sale. That was before I literally knew anything about trains. I think it was about seven quid each. I thought, well, that's all right. Eight or nine of them. Um, I know they're brake brake trains, but I don't care. So if you don't, I don't. <laughs> I tell you what train I do fancy getting is the Intercity 125, the new one. I love that. That's what I'm going to show you, actually, Nigel, is my DCC system. And then I think I'll call it a day because my throat is just literally closing up. Yeah, I do want the Intercity 125, um, the new one, the new digital one. I love it with sound as well. Uh, when did you start? Probably about four years ago, which is sad really, because I've done, I haven't done much considering the time. Look at that, 66 likes. I do appreciate that. That's awesome. I think my wife actually likes me coming up here because it's a stress reliever and it is a genuine stress reliever as well I come up here and uh, I run my own business so I've got any any troubles which is running your own business if, if anyone does it you'll know constant aggro constant worry um, I come up here and I've never brought worry past that loft hatch worry doesn't come past the loft hatch I just come up here and I just enjoy it really and being up here tonight for a good length of time rather than just 10 minutes because um, what happens is over the, say the last year the missus might say oh can you get me that out of the loft or put uh, winter shoes up here or whatever I come up here and I sort of stand here and think bloody hell I should come up here more and then I'll go down and then that'll be it until the next time but being up here tonight for a good length of time has made me think wow what a hobby I've got and uh, I've put some real real hard work into it right quick drink and I'll show you the DCC uh, Backman over Hornby any day. Hornby is for, I think Hornby is for beginners, although they are making some nice trains. Anything Hornby is for beginners. Backman and then, you know, is all for the professional, I suppose, or, or the enthusiast, you know. That's what I would say. It's the same with track, really, as well. You want Pico track, not Hornby track, but it, that's probably personal opinion. Right, okay, let me show you the DCC system then, the way that I control the trains. Now, like I say, the two analog lines at the top, that's just done through normal um, Hornby controllers. I've got one there for one line and one there for another. For the, the digital system, I want to put this so I don't have to keep moving it about. Let me put that there. I'm just going to check on my program what you can see on the screen. You're probably right, actually, uh, Nigel. They probably are made all in the same factory. Um, but yeah, I suppose one's got higher standards than the others, you know? Right, yeah, so I use um, Railmaster. Now, Railmaster, um, I'm not going to move the camera now because I've just set it up. But underneath, you get this little unit. It connects up to an old PC. God, I've got a really old PC, probably about 20 years old sitting up here. An old Packard Bowers Windows 98. But basically, uh, you, can, you can design this within the program. I'm not going to go into depth about it tonight. I've got a dual screen system. Um, so what I can do is, if I want to be flash and, and, and fill it up even more, I can 
extend that right over over to two screens and you can uh, you know there's loads of stuff you can do especially with two screens it's nice you know you can have it all spread over there I've got uh, almost replicated the track this has got no um, what would you call it there's no track detection or anything that's purely for show really the fact that you can I think they're going to build track detection in but if you look this is this is exactly my track plan so they're the bits that go all off there's the bits over there it, it, that is my track plan really all the bits off that's the bit behind um, and yeah it's, it's awesome really you know I, I, I love it it's it's awesome because I like PCs I don't want to control it on a on a hand controller typing in a number I want to I want to see a picture of the train and, and do it that way but like I say I won't go into into much detail on that tonight I like it because you can do a recording program um, so I could basically this train for example I can I could do a recording so you press record and I can have that uh, move forward four spaces I could just press down the record button play trains and record it's almost like a macro program I can record it so later on I can leave the train in exactly the same position press play and that will do its recording so you could have um, a, a sound loco you could have sit there idling for about three or four minutes do the horns carry on so rather than just watch it go round and round it's almost like a train's got a mind of its own so you don't get that with with cheapy systems or the Hornby ones you know the normal controllers um, so yeah that's 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 the way I use to control control the trains and I love it absolutely love it it almost feels like a bit of a signal box up there it's, it's really cool you know and uh, you've got scale scale speed so you can uh, work out what what speed it's doing um, let's bring one round lost myself now I was looking for me bloody sound one. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> right, okay, so I think I'm not thinking straight now. I've been talking for over two hours. I think that's it really, unless there's any other questions. I can always go um into more detail on uh, on other videos and other live streams. Um but I think for tonight that's probably without boring you all, that's pretty much it really. Um what are you all saying? Yeah, one more like for 70. Well, two more on my screen anyway. Yeah, exactly. You can do preset shunting programs. Awesome, David. Yeah, and, and I think um, uh, I think that program with the little adapter, which is down here, I can show you now. So that's the E-Link controller. Is my old terrible PC, but it does the job. There's the E-Link controller, and you run it for your PC. It could easily be run for a laptop. It could be run for anything. Um, but yeah, TMD, you could have it sitting there for, say, five minutes with the compressor going, um, and, and do it that way. Thank you. So I think that's it, really. I mean, because I think... I think I'm going to start rambling now. If I say anything else now, it's just going to be repeating it. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there. It's half ten anyway. I really thank all of you for coming in. Um, yeah, so first stream. So there's 110% there's, there's going to be more streams. Uh, any any time I feel a bit down about the layout or lack of inspiration, I think I'll just come up here and do, do a quick 10 minute stream, which will turn into four hours. Um, and like I say, I should do it at different times. Like next time, I'll do it a little bit earlier. Um, you know, maybe maybe five o'clock. You know, um, and try it that way. But yeah, we've been been running for ages now, and I think that's it. So I just want to thank every single one of you for coming in. Yep, seventy likes. Look at that. Look, yeah, definitely. No, not every night. I won't be streaming every night. I think Monday is a good night actually to come up here. I think Monday might be my railway night. So yeah, everyone certainly enjoyed it. I appreciate that. And what about the multi-camera thing? I mean, do you need to see me? I thought maybe it's nice to know who you're talking to, isn't it? You know. Um, so I think maybe the three cameras, I'll keep them there. You can see me on the left there. 
Thank you, Suzuki. Well, I want to thank you lot anyway, because I know many, many of you come into my uh, into my gaming channel as well. Um, how will we know when you're streaming next? Next time I'll put a video up to say I'm going to stream tonight. Like if I'm coming up here during the day, maybe I'll just do a quick video saying I'm streaming. This is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I might even set up a little railway Twitter program so just so I can um, uh, send it out as well on that way. Thank you, Craig. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. And uh, hopefully it's unique and people like it. And it's nice to get instant feedback in it. That's what I like about it. That's that's the thing that I'm interested in. And it's turned something um, right hand bit could be less. Don't know what you mean by that. Right hand bit could be less. Oh, you mean the right hand camera? Yeah, we could do it. I could change it around. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, David. It puts a face to to a name, doesn't it? You know. Um, but I'll ask you one more time. If any, if there's anyone here that likes gaming, computer gaming in any way, if you click the eye above me. Um, no, I haven't got a Twitter, Tony. I haven't got a Twitter. I don't really. Yeah. Yeah, wireless camera would be good. Picture in picture layout. Well, could could use the better camera with big area. I think he means. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, you're totally right, actually. Yeah, because I've got one pretty good camera that does full spec and that one on the bottom right yeah that is is just a normal skype one um how's about that then oh yes i'll leave that bit out when you when you watch the uh the edit as it were i'm gonna <laughs> i should leave that bit out uh oh thank you david thank you i appreciate that yeah so anyone that likes gaming in any way i've got another passion in my life and that's gaming um and any pc game tech you'll see him there if you like gaming subscribe to him as well um if you click the eye above me you'll see uh let me just see what you see so i can tell you you'll see a big gt uk which is game tech uk that's my other massive passion in my life which is gaming i'm always streaming on there um i will keep doing them uh ps shed yeah definitely 100 percent and uh, what I'll do is tomorrow throughout the day, I'll edit this. I'll edit it down probably till about about 20 minutes, just so people get a, a taste of what I do. And maybe if you'd share that, that'd be fantastic. And the next time that people <laughs> leave it with the Jim Wings in there, let's just leave it. Because now I've got to cut that bit out, and I? Uh, no, I'm never playing farming sim, Graham. Sorry, mate. <laughs> never. <laughs> I'll have to lose your sub on that. Yeah, David, yeah, well, we do. I've got a PS4, yeah, I've got a bit. What games do we play? Well, it's me and, uh, I call him Moody, it's any PC game tech. We play, um, <laughs> leave it now. Uh, we played Battlefield 4 for the last couple of years. Uh, <laughs> sold off with Farming Sim, yeah, you're right. Um, Battlefield 1, which is absolutely awesome. If anyone knows anything about gaming, you probably see lots of adverts, actually, on your, as you watch YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> farming <laughs> farm sim for the win no michael and thanks for popping in michael i appreciate that how did you get on with the subs on the shout out in the end did you do well you've gone up to 303 so that was quite good i know obviously not all mine but yes the worst game terry um uh, uh what's his name uh uh glee broad he loves a bit of farming sim doesn't he moody um but yeah so um Oh, that's good. Yeah, Wicked Michael, yeah. Just got in for work, now you're off. Any day but Monday for future ones. Thank you for um, putting out on Twitter, calling all stations. Someone uh, someone called Emo come in. I don't know, they might still be here. He said that he saw it on Twitter, so thank you for that. Um, yeah, he got lots of it. I'm, I, the, next, um, the next shout out I do, because I'm so busy... Uh, lately especially with a build up to Christmas the next shout out I do will be from the loft so we'll do something similar to what we've done tonight <laughs> bloody sheep slackers what's going on <laughs> um, I'll do something similar to what we've done tonight with a bit of chatting and then halfway through the night I'll do one shout out and I'll show you the video of, uh, of the shout out the, the channel that I've chosen we'll do a bit more chatting and I'll, I'll, so we'll do the normal um, two shout outs so uh, yeah, thank you, calling all stations. I do like your channel as well, and you're definitely on my radar for for that. So don't you worry about that. But you're saying Monday is not a good night for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, Suzuki. Yeah, nice one. Right, I'm gonna go now. Thank you all uh, for coming in. It's the cleaner cab, any good? It's the cleaner cab. Right, I'll show you one more thing. 
that that isn't very good that that is good as a hoover it's got a cleaner underneath but i've, I've hardly used it because it's good as a hoover i've just got one of these i got it for christmas last year and i still haven't used it that's a track cleaning uh, that's that's the nuts that that will that will really help me out um but yeah i think that I'll, I'll, what i'll do is i'll run it with that as a hoover behind um and then that as a cleaner so that's what i'll do and i'll have that running for next time Right, I'm definitely going to go down now and uh, have a shower, etc., and, and uh, watch some TV. So. <laughs> right, I'm going. Um, as I said before, I'm very much for the railway community. We've all been chatting tonight. Why not subscribe to each other? We're all railway people in here. I don't think you're going to lose anything by by subscribing to each other. Um, maybe even put up if you if you've got a layout just say uh, you know I've got a layout sub to me give people an idea of the ones that have got a layout but um, yeah perhaps get Max to catch the questions and prompt you good idea and he'd love that I was conscious of the fact that he's obviously only a young lad and I knew you was interested in the railway and I didn't want him to keep interrupting but yeah he, he's part of the railway if you look at um, look back on my channel you'll see he's, he's been in the railway forever really you know watch out for Jim yeah I'm watching right so if you want to all sub to each other feel free there's no worry about all that sort of stuff um, you can stay in the room for as long as you want but that's me I'm done and I'll see you next time